Should I comment? All right, all right. Trustee, Should I just say hi for you? In the middle of the night. <clears throat> So, uh, I'm not sure. I think this guy is going to come and uh, clean out the portage on. So, I uh, will start out with the cartoons. Watch this, um, this show here. Forget about it. It's been one of my favorites on Tubi. It's available for free over there. Not sure where it originally aired. Uh, then I got some news articles to pull up. We'll be here for a little bit and uh, at the chat. I'll be uh, in and out doing what I do. Folks are welcome to come in. So I believe, I, I do believe, uh, uh, if I just cover the screen here. You can listen to the audio and you can watch backstage if you enter the room. And uh, we won't get copyright. So, and I can show you like clips. We just can't play the whole thing. So, Right, so this is season two. How you doing? I'm Gina Falcone. You can put a gun to my head, but I ain't calling myself McDougal. My pop used to be the capo in a New York crime family. That was great. Everywhere I went, I was treated with respect. Hey, Gina. Good to see you, kid. Here's a hundred. Get yourself a lollipop. I talked with that dentist of yours. You won't be getting any more cavities. <laughs> That was all about the end, because anyway. my uncle Chief started shooting his mouth off. The Don ordered a hit on him, but my pop didn't have the stones to do it. So while Pop was begging the Don to spare Cheech's life, I decided to make my bones and take Cheech out. And then Pop had to go and screw it up. I guess Pop did have stones, just not a lot of brains. And that's how we wound up in Lady Part Saskatchewan. It's okay to say it, sweetie. Regina. But if you think I like being here, you can f***ing... Oh, oh, language! What the f***'s wrong with you? Forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Are your fingers tired at the end of a long day? They are. Are you still dialing the phone by hand? Oh, I am. Do you sometimes not point because you just can't be bothered? That's me. I hate pointing. With Superfinger, you'll never have to lift a finger again. Oh, that's handy. Oh, uh, fingery. <laughs> but wait, there's more. It also scratches, pokes, taps, and picks. It's super. Call 1-800-FINGER-ME now. Welcome to Superfinger. Enter your credit card number now. Wait a minute. We don't have a credit card. Enter your credit card number now. I said I don't have a credit card. Do you take cash? This is fucking hilarious. Sure. Really? No. I'll give you a super finger. Jimmy, do you know what I do all day when you're at work? That's between you and Dr. Oz. I drive around town paying our bills in cash. I'm tired of living like this, and I'm sick of lugging this around. Don't you think it's time we got a credit card? What are you talking about? You got lots of those. None with my real name on them. Besides, McCool took them away. Like it's a crime to use someone else's credit card. Ah, you don't want one of them. What if someone steals it? Buys an Asian bride off the internet? You bad man! You promised better life! Jimmy, 
I want to live beyond our means, like normal people. All right, Cook. If you want a credit card so bad, I'll get you one. How the hell do you get a credit card? It's easy. You steal a lady's purse, you take her card. Bada boom, bada bing. I mean, legitimately. I got nothing. Oh, for Christ's sake, you open a bank account. Fine, I'll dig up the nest egg and put it in the bank. You don't gotta yell. Cheech, get me a shovel. No problem. Ming, jam what cha. Get your own damn shovel. <laughs> In layman's terms, the annual percentage... Geez, I've never been in a bank for more than three and a half minutes. Boy, I miss those days. Saul, so, what do you think, sir? I think I could take this place in about two and a half. I meant in terms of interest. Hey, I'm here, ain't I? So did you want the low risk interest rate of 0.1% or did you want to lock it in at six? So I can have 0.1 or 6%. That's right. I'll take the six and you better have it by Friday. Sorry, old habits. <laughs> Your deposit slip. My life savings for a piece of paper and they call me a gangster. Holy shit, I'm rich. Cookie! I got you a little something. Yes! A credit card! My favorite piece of plastic that doesn't vibrate. Listen up, everyone. I learned a valuable lesson at the bank today. We're richer than we think. What are you talking about? It's easy. You had the nest egg I dug up from the yard with the money I stashed under the furnace, minus the cash I sent to that Nigerian prince, and it equals... We're rich! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare! Jimmy, you gotta try this caviar and truffle sandwich. It's 600 bucks every time I take a bite, and it tastes just like chicken. Nah, I'm too full from the narwhal soup. We didn't spend too much yesterday, did we? Not at all. We bought mostly essentials. In that right person. What the hell? My credit card's declined. Last time someone declined me, I put their head in a vice. Run it again. Same thing. What's the problem? What's the problem? I'll tell you the problem. I got some moron up my ass asking what the freaking problem is. I don't believe this. Jimmy, give me some cash. Any chance we could run a tab? A super finger. Oh, I so want one of those. Mr. McDougal, your money is locked in for a period of no less than six months due to the high interest rate. I explain this all to you in great detail. Isn't there anything you can do? How about a loan? You know we're good for it. I'm sorry, Mrs. McDougal, but our records indicate that you recently went on an insane spending spree and are now at significant credit risk. Jimmy, what are we going to do? What did he say, Cook? Holy crap! We're broke? <laughs> so now that all my money's locked up, I need you to float me for the next six months. I'm sorry, Jimmy, but it's against witness protection rules. After we set you up with your first job, your financial well-being is your own concern. I would love to offer you a personal loan. That's great! But I'm afraid I'm on a strict cool. budget. Not that's only cool. do I support poor, myself and a village yeah. of Bushman orphans, but every remaining... The remaining dollar goes there. to my poor aging mother and her insanely expensive Ben Gay addiction. So you can't do nothing for me? <laughs> oh, contraire, my friend. I can give you something even better than money. More money? No. A money tree? No. A money factory? No. What the hell is better than money? If you see happiness or religion, I'm out of here. A vigorous pep talk. <laughs>
At times like this, a man has to reach deep down inside himself to find out what makes him a man. To find wherein lies the root of his true character. Let me read you a letter from one of my orphans. <clears throat> Jimmy? Horse? Back to the zoo with you, mister. <laughs> All right, everyone, listen up. It looks like we're having a small cash flow problem. If someone ain't paying up, I say go for the knees. Nah, Gina, your mother thinks we gotta live economical for a while. So we're gonna have to cut back on a few things. Teresa, that means no new clothes. You mean no new clothes today, right? Gina, no betting on long shots. But old glue factory in the fourth is looking real good. And Cheech, no more booze for a while. Well, I had a good run. Someone spot me a bullet, I'll pay you back. This is great! Now we can implement all the green initiatives I've been suggesting. It'll force us to reduce our carbon footprint. We have to buy smaller shoes now, too? Screw this! I know how to make money. Teresa, you will not have sex for money. Mom! This is so unfair! Now you kids listen to your mother. I gotta run. I'm teeing off in an hour. Jimmy, you march right down to that tourism bureau and get your job back. And you can forget about golf. No more golf! Teach, I'm calling sloppy seconds on that bullet. Hey! I can't believe we have to ride the bus. We're turning into those people who bring bags to the store because they can't afford plastic. Mass transit is good for the environment and reduces CO2 emissions. This is so unfair. How could Daddy expect us to live on zero dollars a day? That's almost nothing. What's the matter with you two? You've been ripping off a pop like forever. Me? I've been earning for myself since preschool. You want something in this life, you take it. Simple as that. She's right. Not about the stealing, of course, but there are things we can do to make our own money, like collecting bottles for recycling. Really? Tell me more. Well, recycling saves resources, reduces smog. <laughs> The money part. They pay for bottles so we can earn money and save the planet at the same time. Driver, take me to where we save the planet. Sure, it's one stop past where we end world hunger. Stupid kid. Morning. Um, Jimmy, I don't think you- Sorry, can't talk, a lot of work to do. Gotta put the old nose in the grindstone, so- Oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy, but didn't you quit? What? Quit? What are you kidding? I love this job. I love whatever it is we uh, do here. I'm sorry, but you were very clear that you wanted to terminate your employment. Toby, that's not my ass. My ass is in color. Jimmy, as much as I'd like to give you your job back, we've already hired someone else. <laughs> so fire him. No can do. Last time I did that, his union was all over me. So, did Toby give you your job back? Yeah, Cheech. My first day back, and he gave me the day off. Well, looks like I gotta find some other job. Good thing you got the day off. You don't know what it's like out there, Jimmy. It's dog eat dog. People killing each other to climb the corporate ladder. If you look the wrong way, somebody stabs you in the back. Hey, wait a minute. You know exactly what it's like out there. Yeah, I do. Who knows? Maybe I'll get one of them CEO jobs where I can screw up and ask for a bailout. I'm going to get a job, too. Attaboy, Cheech. You think I got a good voice for phone sex? Yo, Ma, are we poor? No, Gina, we're not poor. We're just a little light right now. That's an actual thing? I thought it was something Deadbeat said when they don't want to pay. No, it's an actual thing. So, if you're not poor, why are you buying all this generic crap? Grumpy green giant, hamburger hindrance, room temperature pockets? Who buys this stuff? Immigrants and hobos, honey. Don't forget the elderly. No one's talking to you, toots. Teresa, just because it's called dumpster diving doesn't mean you actually have to dive. I know. You do. <laughs> How much did we make? <laughs> Can you believe this is the only job we could get? I got 20 years experience running a family business 
but no freaking references. You know who'd have been a good reference? Don Gambini. He thought the world of you until you whacked him. Welcome to Blue Ball Ranch, boys. What we do here is extract bull semen for export. And how exactly do we do that? Same way you do at home. You mean in front of the window with the neighbors watching? <laughs> oh! Ah, God, my arm is tired. Your arm? <laughs> 32 bucks, that's it? A broad who does the same job gets at least 80 bucks an hour. A hundred if she doesn't like Cheech. I still don't understand what your job is, Jimmy. I don't bring my work home, unless it gets on my shirt. Well, you gotta find something else. We're barely scraping by. We can't pay our bills, and now Cheech is eating dog food. It makes my coat shiny. Cook, this is temporary. We'll get through it. Have I ever let you down? Not until now you haven't. What's this? A pawn shop ticket. I hawked my engagement ring to buy groceries. You did what? Well, someone has to provide for this family, and right now that someone ain't you. I can't believe you sold it without talking to me. I was hungry. I couldn't think straight. I know things are bad, but look on the bright side. They can't possibly get worse. And they just got worse. Jesus, Jimmy, I'm blind. This is what we get for messing with them bulls. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? I saw candles. I thought romance was in the air, along with a hint of lavender. That's Cheech, burning furniture to stay warm. And you can forget fooling around. The mortgage company's breathing down our necks. If we don't pay on time, we lose the house. Ten minutes of sweaty groping ain't gonna help. Can't hurt. <laughs> what? So now you won't sleep with me because I got no money? I won't sleep with you because I got no ring. It'd be a sin. What about our vows? For richer and for poorer. I'm an Italian girl from Brooklyn. I cross my fingers during the poorer part. What about during the obey part? Yeah, I'm sleeping on the couch, ain't I? Hey, where'd you get all that money? Do I ask you about your business? Listen, kid, you think you could loan me a few bucks? I might be able to help you out. You're a lifesaver. At 18%. What? That's crazy. That's highway robbery. That's... That's my girl. If you don't mind my saying, Pop, you're stooping pretty low borrowing money off a kid. Tell me about it, but I don't know what else to do. You can act like a man. Well, I don't know what else to do. Get out there. Pull some jobs. There's banks, liquor stores, convenience stores, credit unions, and that's just robberies. You could be out there running numbers, pimping broad, selling protection, but instead you're sitting around like a schmuck. I don't even know you anymore. Jeez, maybe she's right. I got it. Ow! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Jimmy, I've been concerned about your descent into abject poverty. How are things? To be honest, which is hard for me around cops. Not too good. You're not considering a return to a life of crime, are you? To be dishonest, which is way more up my alley, no, not at all. Take solace, Jimmy. Sweet Mother Canada stands at the bottom of the abyss, waiting to cradle you in the silky embrace of her social safety net. Say again, in American? Tomorrow, I want you to march down to the Service Canada office and apply for employment insurance. What the hell is that? It's just like unemployment insurance, except they put a positive spin on the name so the indigent don't feel like enormous blood-sucking leeches. Which, of course, they are not. Who sucked what? Trust me, Jimmy, your adopted nation has your back. For Canada, where you can get money for nothing, but the chicks aren't free! <laughs> Everybody out there wants a partner and a best friend. For single farmers, saddle up. This might be hard to heal. To find lifelong love. Who thinks they've got what it takes to make it in the country? Well, don't <laughs> <forget>. <laughs> I love your mouth. So it's all right. I'll just rip the other ones off. Here, take that. Can't skip that, bro. I like the universe connects you with certain people for, for certain reasons. We had a fire going, and I wouldn't be on this part. <laughs> Farmer once a wife. Watch now on Tubi. That didn't work. Next. Go on, Petey.
I'm not sure about this. I love experiments. I just don't want to be experimented on. If you don't, Petey, they'll do it on an innocent little animal. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Great. How'd it go? I feel surprisingly fine. At first, I was scared, but after the probe, everything went dark That's and... That's great. Where do we get paid? Will there be any side effects from this? Absolutely not. I'm sorry, sir. It says here you quit your full-time job, which means you're ineligible for employment insurance. Who, me? I didn't quit. I quit. So you tell me I don't even qualify for a handout? Next in line. Ah, but next! All right. My wife don't respect me, my daughter thinks I'm a schmuck, and I'm gonna lose my house. Time to go back to work. And by work, I mean crime. Crime? Why didn't you think of that before? The answer was right in front of you. Sometimes I wonder about you, Jimmy. You know, I'm starting to think you care more about money than you do about saving the Earth. That's ridiculous. I totally care about the Earth. I also care about the Russian businessman who lives on the Earth and happens to need your kidney. My what? <gasps> Are you guys going to take long? Of course not. Now we must take organs while fresh. <laughs> Hey, sleepyhead. So, 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 so cold. Yeah, about that. I had a slight miscommunication with these guys. I thought they were just taking a kidney, but they wanted everything. Heart, lungs, even your doodad, which the one guy wanted for a necklace. What? But I couldn't let them do it. Oh, thank God. Petey, I may have been using your dumb infatuation with the Earth to get important things like money, and I'm sorry. I know, it's okay. In the end, you stuck up for your little brother, which warms my frozen heart. Your heart could have got me 10 grand, but I'm glad it's still inside you. Ah! You're freezing, you little freak! You're trying to kill me! Man, I've been keeping a lid on my criminal side so long, I feel rusty. Ah, that's better. I could rob that jewelry store or snatch that lady's purse. Hell, I could do both. Rob that jewelry store and then carry the jewels home in the purse. Good thinking, Jimmy boy. Nah, if I'm gonna do this, gotta be something big. Bingo. Oh, man, what the hell am I doing? What are you waiting for? Some idiot left the keys in a truck full of money. Don't do it, Jimmy. If you get caught, that will mean the end of your witness protection. I ain't getting caught. But if you do, I can no longer protect you. Like you need this Gavon to protect you. Jimmy, you would be endangering the lives of your family. McCool's right, Jimmy. Yeah, Pop, don't do it. It is a lot of money, though. Teresa! I'm just saying. What? You guys took all the good costumes. All right, I made up my mind. I'm pretty sure I can risk it. Jimmy, no! But I won't risk it for my family. I already put him through this once. I ain't gonna do it again. Hurry! Oh, can I... Hurry up and steal the truck. I need booze money. I just hallucinated loot people crawling all over you. Hey! Some idiot left the keys in this truck. Well, Jimmy, I guess it's back to jerking bulls. Remember the old days when we were short on cash? We'd just throw a junior good fella under a bus and fleece the transit company for the insurance. Oh, yeah. The good old days. Can I wash these down with a little scotch? Nope. Doctor's orders. I'm sorry for everything I put you through, Cook. I got you a little something. Oh, Jimmy. I love you. Jesus Christ. Give me a bottle, I'm hallucinating again. La 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 la
Okay, so yeah, that's uh, forget about it. Uh, again, one of my favorite uh, free free shows to watch there on TV. Um, word up, the room is open, and the link there. Um, <clears throat> and I'm still waiting for this guy to come back to. Uh, anyway, he ran out of water, so may get interrupted here, but I'll be on for a while. How's it going? How's it been? 12.25 a.m. here, um, just north of the Golden Gate Bridge. And uh, we had a, uh, a closure earlier today. Pro-Palestinian protesters shut down the Golden Gate Bridge and I-880 in Oakland. Uh, I am. Just north of this spot right now. It's all clear, but apparently this affected us for several hours earlier today. I was safely at home, unaffected. So sad is uh, we'll play for a few more seconds here. And I'll get the video, I suppose. Looks like it's running decently. This is right at mid span of the Golden Gate Bridge. Police say the demonstrators chained themselves together and to others who were sitting in cars. It took CHP and first responders more than four hours to disentangle them. Protest organizers say they intentionally planned this to coincide with tax day. A lot of the money that's going from individuals that are working really hard, we don't want that money going to Israel anymore. You don't think that anybody in the rest of the Bay Area is being affected by this in a safety way? As far as safety, no. Economically, possibly, yes. And that's the hope. Among those affected are people like Kevin Clark, who was dropped off by his Lyft driver after being stuck in traffic. He had hoped to walk across the Golden Gate Bridge to get to a meeting in Marin. It looks like it's 45 minutes to the other side. I've never walked across the Golden Gate. But he wasn't able to. Bike and pedestrian traffic was also shut down by police because of the protest. At least one resident of San Francisco I talked with says he thinks repeated efforts to shut down bridges and freeways isn't productive. I just think it's anti, it's any progress that's hoped to, hoped to be made. I mean, is it, it just it sets things back it makes people more angry at a time when i think really we need calm and reason after more than four hours a busload of people who were detained as part of the protest drove off the bridge escorted by police 26 were ultimately arrested several cars that were also part of the demonstration were towed the chp says five in total will be impounded and fire trucks that were part of the response had to carefully back off the bridge in order to leave the scene. California Highway Patrol leadership says this was a demonstration unlike many that they've ever seen before. Chief Don Goodbrand with the California Highway Patrol Golden Gate Division says they did bring in extra officers and staged them to respond because they had heard a protest was planned. They're charging people with conspiracy because of the coordinated protest. You can protest any which way you want but it is unlawful to block, block a roadway and to prevent people from getting to work, emergency uh, personnel from getting to help people. You, you can't do it. The people arrested on the Golden Gate Bridge will be charged by the San Francisco District Attorney's Office. Along with the conspiracy charge, they're also facing other charges ranging from vehicle code violations to false imprisonment for drivers who were trapped on the bridge for the duration of the demonstration. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News. Crazy, crazy. It's a crazy world we live in, isn't it? How's everybody doing tonight? Did you hit the like button? Hey, Lemon Pie, hello there. Good to see you. 
right. So, watch another episode of uh, Forget About It. I got some more stuff to share. If anybody wants to come into the chat, I think it's pen, of course. La, 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 la. How you doing? I used to be Jimmy Falcone, a capo in a New York crime family. Now, you probably think being a mobster was all busting knees and deep sixing guys, which it kind of was. See, violence was our thing, even on a slow day. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot, Jimmy. But when it came to other gangs, I had a real knack for keeping the peace. Like a referee for wise guys. For instance, I was friendly with the Russian mafia. Yeah, Boris, I brought vodka. Let's get drunk and make fun of the triad. I was respectful to the Chinese mafia. Happy New Year! What? I miss it? You guys keep changing the day. Anyway, Chen, you really gonna let those Ruskies walk all over you? Which one of you is Chen again? Heck, I even had an open door policy with the gay mafia. Oh my God. I can't believe you wore those shoes with that tie, Donnie. Oh yeah, coming from the guy who wore beige in December? <laughs> fellas, fellas, we gotta talk about the Chinese. They really got it in for you. Then a gang war broke out between the Russians, the Chinese, and the gay dudes, which I had nothing to do with. Until I took over their business. <laughs> anyway, now I'm Jimmy McDougal, living in witness protection in Canada, where they don't know nothing about peacekeeping. Actually, Pop, Canada's armed forces are well known for- Lay off, will you? I'm trying to make a point. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, it'd take the boss- Forget I said it. You hungry? I could eat. <laughs> yeah, I'll have the deer burger, side of antlers. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll have the same. Actually, come to think of it, let me have a bison burger. Nah, you know what? Deer burger's fine. <laughs> <gasps> Hang on, Cheech! Jimmy, I think we traveled back in time to an episode of Little House on a Prairie. Are you hurt, strangers? What the hell are you doing riding a buggy in snowmobile country? Actually, this is Mennonite country. What the f*** is that? You know, where they make the deodorant. No, stranger. We are a humble, God-fearing folk who shun modern conveniences such as cars, electricity, and zippers. So, in other words, you're poor. Hope things pick up for you. In truth, we are an ultra-Orthodox branch of the Mennonite tree. We broke away from our brethren in 19... Yo, Rabbi, I'm on the edge of my seat here, but I gotta run. I fear the iron pig you ride is dead. Looks like we're walking back to Regina. Re Gina, we too are traveling to that Sodom and Gomorrah. I am Jacob. These are my brothers, Samuel and Eli. We are going on our Rumspringer. I think you mean wine spritzer. Rumspringer is a period in which young Mennonites leave our community to experience modern society. We are looking for what you people would call a good time. Do you know where we can find such a time? Tell you what, you boys give us a ride in the town and we'll help you out with that. You would do that for us? Oh, not so fast. Throw in some chickens and you got a deal. So, what kind of good time you boys looking for? Disneyland or Playboy Mansion? Jacob, Samuel, look! The lights of the Emerald City. Mine eyes. Hey, we're walking here! have you been? And what's this about you stealing a snowmobile? We didn't steal nothing. We took it for a test drive. It failed. Jimmy, what have I told you about taking things that don't belong to you? It's not the Canadian way. Unless we're talking native land, but we like to pretend that never happened. My point is, what kind of nation would this be if everyone just took whatever struck their fancy with no regard for other people? America? Exactly. And who the hell are these guys? This is Jacob and... 
the other one and the other one. Jay, why is the cast of Witness in my house? It's like this, Cookie. These are men in tights on a rumple still skin looking for a good time. Speaking of good times, I gotta use the job. And I better get some groceries now that we got guests. Relax. Dinner's covered. <laughs> hey, I'm Teresa. Hello. I am Jacob. I am here to taste the delights of the big city. Boy, did you come to the right place. I'm going to show Jacob my delights. I mean, my sights. These sights. Bye. Listen, punk. Rum springer or no springer, I expect you to behave like a gentleman. Home by midnight and don't drink and drive. I neither drink nor drive. Good. Now get the hell out of here. All right, Cook. Cheech and I are going to take the other two out for some fun. Jimmy, be very careful with those boys. I've seen many a rum springer turn to tragedy when the modern world proved overwhelming for young Mennonites. Relax, McCool. They're farmers, not cavemen. Mm. Your well water is so clean and fresh and blue. Oh, Jacob, your hay baling arms make me feel like I'm on the cover of a Harlequin romance novel. And that maybe, just maybe, my dress is torn. I think, Teresa, you are the most beautiful woman I have ever met. I think, Jacob, you are right. You are also the only woman I have ever met to whom I am not related. Oh, what a gentleman. <laughs> I figure we'll loosen them up with a few cocktails at the Sky Tickler Lounge and then on to Little India for the Snake and Kitty show. That darn cat is such a charmer. It's only five stories up, but on a clear day, you can see everything, which really ain't much. How can this be? We are not where we started. We drove here in a $60,000 SUV, but the elevator's a big deal. What new wonders await us on three? Not too bright, huh? This from a guy who forgets to wear pants. Aw, oh, crap. We are back. Woo! The next level chef battle has begun. You'll have to earn your place on one of our teams. And you can watch anytime before sizzling new episodes every Thursday. You don't get a second chance. We need the best. Who will make the cut? I've been waiting for this my whole life. Sticky. Throw him off the boat. Gordon Ramley. Sorry, I was channeling Pocket Locker for a second there. I guess. It's now on TV. <laughs> You'd think four hours riding in the magic closet would be enough excitement for anyone, but no, you two have to go and pull the fire alarm. Little dragon. What are we talking about? Teresa! Daddy! Brothers! Teresa raised a barn! In my pants! Daddy, calm down! We didn't do anything! We did not? Then why are my... Hmm. Well, what's going on? We're watching some cartoons, checking out some news stories, just chillaxing. That's what's going on. My Unterhosen dam. That's it! What is going on down here? I'm about to turn this Quaker Oats into porridge. Daddy, all we did was make out a bit. Promise. Jacob and I are in love. He's invited me to meet his family and stay in their village, and I said yes. Oh, oh Jesus. I love him the real way, not just the yes, I'll go to Cabo for the weekend way. Hey, can I have a room? Teresa, you do realize Jacob is a Mennonite? Uh, I think you mean Mennonite, and yes, He's my Mennonite. Teresa Maria Falcone, there is no way you're running off with some weirdy beauty you just met. Mom, this is so unfair. I'm old enough to make my own mistakes. Okay, let me get this straight. You're gonna live without electricity. Our love is electric. And no running water. Jacob's love is all the fluid I need. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you on a farm? <laughs> <laughs> She's really going. You sure you're okay with this? You kidding me? She'll be back by dinner time. I'm giving three to one on that. Interested? Fifty bucks says she'll sleep here tonight. I want a piece of that action. I abhor gambling. Give me twenty on noon tomorrow. What a pleasant ride. And it only took us nine hours. You really ought to get your heater fixed. Shh. My father is coming. Relax. Dad's love me. Jakob. What is this? 
You were supposed to sample the modern world, not bring it back with you. Father, this is Teresa. Father? Get out of town. You look more like Jacob's brother. Truth be told, I am a little of both. Now, young woman, we are not used to outsiders here. As long as you remain in this settlement, I trust you shall respect our customs, our morals, and our values. You got it, Pops. So, what's your Wi-Fi password? This is a mall. It's where people come to buy things they don't really need. Maybe you boys can pick something up for your mom. Something to take back to her when you go home. Hopefully soon. It's not gonna hurt you. Just get on. Where do these steps come from? What strange magic is this? Samuel, look! The steps, they vanish! Hey! Don't put your face down there! Help! It wants my gin bag! Wait! Modern medicine is forbidden to us! Ah! I feel better. Oh! Five more minutes! Wake up, my modern woman. Jacob, not yet. I haven't even put my face on. Hand me my makeup. Ah, such whore paint is forbidden here. Jacob, I am already concerned by this girl's sloth. Now, get up. It is only two hours until sunrise. Time for breakfast. Haven't you people heard of beauty sleep? <sighs> I guess not. <sighs> I'll have coffee and a bagel. We do not allow bagels with their sensual roundness and... Tempting holes. Fine. What else you got? You misunderstand. Women's breakfast was hours ago. Now is the time for you to make the men's breakfast. In my country, we stopped playing with Play-Doh in grade two. And here, playing is forbidden. I was joking. Also forbidden. You must learn the value of doing chores. Look at Helga. She is proficient at chores and therefore has many suitors. Uh, uh, uh. Now this? I know how to do. Uh, uh, let us find you something else to do. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> There's this kid who's behind on his lunch money. He's in high school, so I want you to be my muscle. Hmm? Ooh, what does this task entail? Uh, if he gets out of line, you two slap him around. I'll explain it. Sorry, I just saw that comment, so we'll try. Round. Slap around? Is that some kind of dance? We do not dance. Who said anything about a dance? The speed is heading. Oh, oh no. We are a peace loving people. We cannot raise our hand to another man. Then use your freaking foot. What do I care? Let's go. You got that, you mooks. If you're gonna cross the street, you gotta watch the signals. Stop, Gina. The stern little man commands us to stand like this. No, no, you got it all wrong. So, yeah, as you see, um... These, uh, this exchange with Jill here, uh, I had a, I wouldn't call it a debate, uh, so much as a discussion on evolution with Jill. And so the primate diagrams are a product of, you know, things I was showing uh, for that discussion. But 
they're also uh, relevant to the channel because we, you know, uh, believe in evolution here. At least, uh, you know, I do. Uh, so I subscribe to theory of evolution. So I try to, um, you know, just show. Yeah, the the imagery is part of the the whole theme uh, going on here. What's up, Regius? Thanks for coming by. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I am uh, streaming to Twitch. I may try to play some Among Us uh, in a bit. It takes a while to load up on here, so um, I'm just taking it slow, taking my time, just moving along, you know, um, hanging out. If anybody wants to come in, you know, the uh, link is pinned, obviously. I'm just trying to avoid, so I'm, I'm using overlays because I, I think I avoid any type of copyright strikes um while playing the show because otherwise they'll shut my stream down but uh, you can watch in the backstage or listen i mean the dialogue is i love the show for the dialogue so thanks for coming everybody Samuel, the orange hand beckons us forward. What is wrong with you, retards? Oh, thank heaven. The medicine that makes us feel better. Ah, that's the stuff. More, more. Please, please. I'll suck your your father's been working me like a dog. I'm exhausted. But not too exhausted. Wanna go to the hayloft? More chores? Teresa, you are insatiable. I've heard that. Don't know what it means, but I've heard it. Oh no, those follies may, may have been acceptable on, on my rumspringer, but we are back in the real world now. Don't you wanna play Amish school girl? Amish girls do not go to school, silly. <laughs> <laughs> now, off to bed. I will be thinking of you, but not with my hands. Bad hands. Devil's hands. I have handcuffs. Okay, it's official. This place sucks. <sighs> Damn it! Put that away. Such prideful adornments are forbidden. What? just a hair clip. It is much more than that. It is a dagger that will pierce the heart of our community. It is dangerous. Only if I stick it in your eye. I have spoken. There is no more to say on the matter. Well, I have more to say on the matter. F this! So, you guys have never seen a train before? Only in the distance. We thought they were metal snakes that would eat our souls. Well, that's just silly. There's no such thing as souls. Did you know these tracks run clear ac across the continent? In fact, early on it was referred to as the trans Look, Samuel, I have found medicine. Uh, guys, I wouldn't touch those. Seriously, guys, that's not safe. It makes me feel better. I do not feel better, Samuel. <laughs> We need to talk. Teresa, why is your head naked? Yeah, about that. This isn't working out. I thought when I came here, it would be quaint, like doing it on a quilt. Doing what? See, I don't fit in here. Can I catch a ride into town? I do not understand. We are to be married tomorrow. What? With God's blessing, you will be pregnant by the weekend. Dude, I'm only 17. I'm too young to get married. That is witch talk. My mother was a spinster of 15 when she wed. In any case, you agreed to be my wife the moment you sat in my buggy. This is crazy! My little... The lamb. You just have cold feet. We have a cure for that. You could have just given me socks! Ow! Ow! Give me another try. Son of a... My fingers gotta go on a diet. 
your fingers? Jimmy, Teresa hasn't updated her Twitter feed in 12 hours. Hashtag. I'm worried. Stupid bird. We solemnly invite you to the joyless union of Jacob and Teresa under the eyes of a stern and merciless God. What? The bride and groom are registered at Barnes and Stable. If I'm reading this right, I think Teresa. She's getting married. The hell she is. Oh, my God. They're a cult. My baby girl's been kidnapped by a cult. Ah, crap. I'm going to take a bath on this. Let me see that. How are we supposed to RSPV? Jimmy, get your shotgun. We're going to a wedding. Should I wear my blue suit or the pinstripe? <laughs> Isn't it exciting? You are permitted to choose the color of your wedding dress. Gray or off gray? Off gray, most assuredly. Uh, where the hell is Jacob? <laughs> In the barn, learning about the birds and the bees. These are birds. These are bees. This is your penis. This is your penis on drugs. Any questions? Hey! against full-bodied hair what is wrong with you people don't you get it it's your life and you only get one so make the most of it don't let anyone t tell you how to live you can be whatever you want to be could i be a shoemaker i love shoes a debris graduate reach for the stars how about a sodomite you can be any nationality you want. And stop pretending it's the 50s. What's so great about spending eight hours to make a loaf of bread when you can get one at 7-Eleven? Technology can make your life easier. Technology is your friend. Oh, she is right. Look at all this pornography. Won't be needing you anymore. <laughs> Man, I hope they have a chocolate fountain. I love those things. This is all my fault, Jimmy. I never should have let Teresa go. Ah, don't beat yourself up, Cook. Save it for the groom. What if they brainwashed her? What if they've got her in robes, chanting at airports? <gasps> oh, my God, what if they're about to drink the Kool-Aid? Hurry up, Jimmy. I'm driving as fast as I can, but I don't know where I'm going. The sexy directions lady is on the fritz. This thing says you are now leaving civilization. If you're trying to drag this out to win the pool, you are disqualified. Not to mention morally bankrupt. I'm hoping to bang some bridesmaids at this thing. Can you head off the uglies for me? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't what I meant. Zippers are so much easier than buttons. Uh. 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 <laughs> I didn't mean for you to go crazy. I just meant you need to think for yourself. I'm going to screw me a goat. One time I linger in the outhouse. Fools! Ow! Ignorant heathens, you have been tricked by the devil! But I can finally feel the wind on my face. It burns! Mark my words, this technology will betray you! He is right. Damn these roaming charges! Ah! It hurts when I pee. <laughs> The devil has wormed its way into our community in the form of this vixen. She is a witch, and you know what we do with witches. Huh. Do tell. We burn them! Remember, think for yourselves! Burn the witch! Oh, crap. What are you doing? You're supposed to be freaking pacifists! Shut up, witch! And Cheech wins the pool. Yes! Where am I gonna put a pool? Time to kick some men in ass! Run! He knows how to fight! <laughs> it's just you and me, CZ Top. Bringeth it on. Yeah! Ah! Waken up, gentlemen. Jimmy, roll down your sleeves, unclench your fists, and take a chill pill. You, sir, pitch that pitchfork.
What the hell are you doing here? There was a noise complaint from the neighboring Hutterite colony. <sighs> Meddling Hutterites. Come, my good man, let us return you to your gentle ways of peace and misogyny. These outsiders will bother you no more. But can it where you can live as you want, as long as you keep it down. Wait! Jacob? Teresa, do not go. I still love you. I am sure with time you will be numb with fatigue and succumb to our ways. Oh, Jacob, I'm sorry, but I can't change myself to fit into your world. I mean, I can, but I won't, because your world sucks. If you will not live in mine, then I shall live in yours. You sh- Eli, Samuel, what have they done to you? I'll never forget you, Jacob. I'll call you. I'll email you. Well, I'll text. I'll forget it. I'll never see you again. My heart is broken. So is Samuel's. Is that a tattoo? Who wants deer burgers? Not me. Last time I got a hoof in mine. La 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 Alright. 12.56 in the AM. April 16th. Take a peek at that. What's going on on X? What was that? I don't know what I'm looking at. Women are happier without children or a spouse, says happiness expert. What do you notice about this video with Mark Zuckerberg? Wait, wait, are, you, are you ready? Because the pressure is on. Don't fuck this up. I'm like, don't fuck this up. He's there right now. He's Notice anything in particular? Okay, now, give him. There you go. I like it. That's what's going on. I supposed to be looking for. You're not going to do this. I'm Don't fuck this up. I'm like, don't fuck this up. We have a, 
Here and then. And South of Heaven, that's Crime Junkie 88. Followed back. Do 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 So it looks like he's a human, not so. <laughs> oh yeah. The one where he's uh, an animal. Got the uh, Wikipedia article for representative democracy up here because uh, we we're talking about this a little bit earlier at Brojo's stream. Representative democracy, also called electoral democracy or indirect democracy, is a type of democracy where representatives are elected by the public. Nearly all modern Western-style democracies function as some type of representative democracy. For example, the United Kingdom, United uh, Unitary Parliamentary Constitutional Monarchy, Germany, a Federal Parliamentary Republic, France, a Unitary, excuse me, Malfunction, malfunction. Uh, uni, unitary semi presidential republic and the United States, a federal presidential republic. This is different from direct democracy, where the public votes directly on laws or policies rather than representatives. Political parties often become prominent in representative democracy if electoral systems require or encourage voters to vote for political parties or for candidates associated with political parties, as opposed to voting for individual representatives. Some political theorists, including Robert Dahl, Gregory, Gregory Houston, and Ian uh, Liebenberg, have described representative democracy as polyarch. Representative democracy can be organized in different ways, including both parliamentary and presidential systems of government. Elected representatives typically form a legislator, such as Parliament or Congress, which may be composed of a single chamber, unicameral, unicameral, two chambers, bicameral, uh, or more than two chambers, multicameral. Where two or more chambers exist, their members are often elected in different ways. The power of representatives is usually curtailed by a constitution, as in constitutional democracy or constitutional monarchy, or other measures to balance representative power. An independent, blah, 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 an independent judiciary. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had a big bite of chocolate. <clears throat> 
an independent judiciary, which may have the power to declare legislative acts unconstitutional, uh, constitutional court and Supreme Court, the Constitution may also provide for some deliberative democracy, e.g. royal commissions or direct popular measures, initiative, referendum, recall elections. However, these are not always binding and usually require some legislative action. Legal power usually remains firmly with representatives. In some cases, a bicameral legislator may have an upper house that is not directly elected such as the Senate of Canada, model on the British House of Lords. Some political theorists, such as Edmund Burke, believe that the part of, of the duty of a representative is not simply to follow the wishes of the electorate, but okay, I was like the format did change of the electorate, but also to use their judgment in the exercise of their powers, even if their views are not uh, reflective of those of the majority of voters. A representative who chooses to execute the wishes of his or her con constituents acts as a delegate. If the representative chosen uh, chooses to use his or her best judgment and knowledge in making decisions, even when the constituents do not fully agree with the decision, then the representative acts as a trustee. <clears throat> what are we talking about? Oh, Mark. I enjoy Mark's content. All right, 107 a.m. Time keeps on ticking into the future, as far as I can tell. Do another one of these. I'm having fun. I hope you are as well. How you doing? I used to be Jimmy Falcone, a capo in a New York crime family. Now I'm Jimmy McDougal, living like a schnook in Canada. Now, gangstering wasn't exactly your safest line of work. Uh, got the twos? Go sleep with the fish. But that's exactly what I wanted. I lived danger. I breathed danger. Danger was my middle name. I never did forgive Ma for that. Don Gambini, we did as you asked. The charge is set. Pretty soon, poor Bobby is going to be little Bobby Chunks. But if I may inquire, what exactly did Tall Bobby do? He didn't show respect, Jimmy. It always felt like he was looking down at me. You too? I never did like that guy. When you were on the Tall Bobby's car, why didn't you set the charge? I did, just like you said. See, you were supposed to leave it under his car! You know, it's a wonder I lasted as long as I did. But just because I'm in witness protection now doesn't mean I don't still face danger. Because if you think my minus 55 in January ain't real danger. Forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all once him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they heard that they could use... File. I hate to be a bother, but can I get you to send it over again? Tell him to look hard. Actually, I was being polite. Truth is, you still haven't submitted one. So now you need a diploma to sit at a desk and not work all day? Uh-huh. Only the best and brightest for Regina tourism. What if I don't got no diploma? 
<laughs> You're such a kidder, Jimmy. Only losers don't finish high school. And did those losers beat you up before they dropped out? Yeah. Jimmy, I don't understand. Why didn't you complete high school? The mob wasn't big on book smarts. I mean, look what they did to Don Poindexter. Allow me to quote Einstein. <laughs> Can you take care of it or not? Well, yes, it would take just a few simple keystrokes to enter a high school diploma into your file. Great, see you later. But I won't do it. Why not? Jimmy, I can't deprive you of this invaluable learning opportunity. Sure you can. Go ahead, deprive me. I was looking for something to give up for Lent anyway. Jimmy, education is the very cornerstone of society. What kind of friend would I be if I took that experience away from you? The kind I don't want to whack in the face with a two-by-four? Oh, how I envy you. Jimmy, you're about to embark on a voyage across the sea of knowledge, a sea peppered with islands of information, archipelagos of insight, and atolls of wisdom. You are one lucky bastard. Right back at you, minus the lucky pot. See? You're already doing math. Oh, Canada, where you don't need to play football to afford college. Great. Look what you made me do. Shut up. You're starting to piss me off, you. Whoa. Ah, oh, jeez. I better put you out of your misery. All right, hold still. I said hold still. It'll be over in a second. There, got it. Stupid goose. Only fat guys drink beer. What do you want, a medal for not dying? Scram! I ain't kidding. Quit following me. Last warning, pal, unless you want an ass full of buckshot. So this diploma you got from the internet wasn't good enough for him? Apparently Harvard's not a high school, and it's spelled with two A's. You learn something new every day. If I don't get him a real diploma, they're gonna give me the X. You know who could have done this for you? Freddy the Forger. One time he made me a fake ID, got me into Vito's bar. Cheech, you were like 50. What did you need a fake ID for? It was ladies' drink-free night. Man, I got bummed. Next morning, I woke up in some guy's bed. Boy, was he embarrassed. God, I miss all those guys. Freddy the Forger, Carmine the Counterfeiter, Tony the Tiger Smuggler. The guys you find on Craigslist, they're just not the same. Hey, how come Daddy got to drop out of high school, but you won't let me? You're such a hypocrite. And that's exactly why you're staying in school, young lady. Teresa, it's apples and orange juice. When I was your age, I was on the streets, hustling, doing whatever it took to make a living. <laughs> So, what you gonna do, Jimmy? I guess I'll just quit and live off the nest egg. Over your dead body? What the hell kind of example is that to set for the kids? I used to kill guys for a living. Setting a good example ain't exactly high on my priorities. Well, now you're a civilian, so act civilized and get a f***ing diploma. Fine, I'll go back to high school. Pop, you can just get a GED. Gina's not here, Petey. If you want to swear, you don't have to spell it. Oh, you are so staying in school. It means general educational diploma. All you have to do is pass an equivalency exam at the community college. That's it? Just pass one test? Uh-huh. I got mine when I was five. I only stay in school for the camaraderie. And how many friends do you have, Petey? 127. Facebook doesn't count. Counting you? Don't you dare count me. Zero. So, look, I see you got a lot of wood in this joint. Be a real shame if it were to go up in flames if you catch my drift. Of course, for a fee, I could protect you from that kind of thing, eh? Aren't you adorable? <laughs> now run along, little girl. <laughs> I'll be back for more on Friday. You got some nice moves there, kid. How'd you like to join my crew? So, uh, what do I call you? Honka? Nah, that sounds stupid. How about Beaks? All right, Beaks. It is. Welcome aboard. I don't know how you. That's 7829. Oh, I've only got 50 bucks. Uh, take out the cheese puffs and the broccoli. I mean, who like broccoli?
Actually, I like broccoli. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a broccoli fan. Broccoli head. One fifteen a.m. Life's been good to me so far. I was watching the Wild Heart sleeping on stream earlier. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. I mean, excuse me. Ouch. Sorry. What's through here? Sorry. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Whoa, you're flexy. <coughs> What's your number? Welcome to high school equivalency 101. I'm Mr. Russo. Is that gonna be on the test? No. Now, I know many of you are going through some life changes. Divorce, midlife crisis, menopause. Don't forget parole. But this is your one chance. Add a second chance. So seize it. Actually, you can take the test as often as you like. I just said that for dramatic effect. Is any of that going to be on the test? No. But since you're so interested in tests, let's start with a practice one. Hey, Teach, you forgot the eyes and mouth on this smiley face. Actually, that's a zero. What? Don't I even get a point for spelling my name right? You didn't. Who the hell's Jimmo? This is going to be harder than I thought. I gotta figure out a way to pass this class. A lot of joy, my study group. Beat it, nerd. Jimmy, it's been 30 years since you were in school. You gotta get used to being a student again. But how? I don't even remember what it was like being a student. <laughs> Probably because I majored in hooky. You'll figure it out. Anyways, listen, this broad in our class, Debbie, lost custody of her kids. And? And they're having a kegger at her place. You coming? F yeah. Ah, it's all coming back to me now. This is just like when I was in high school. There's this snobby prom queen. <sighs> No, I don't want a beer. Leave me alone, nerd. The drug pushing preppy. Come on, Cindy. All your peers are doing it. My peers? Well, in that case. And who can forget the slutty girl? Oh! You know what, Cheech? Maybe this high school thing ain't gonna be so bad after all. The second chance! The second chance here! Oh god, Cindy has no pulse! <laughs> that was awesome! Okay, here's your cut. Don't spend it all in one pound. Cheech, I feel like a teenager again. I'm having the time of my life. Me too. Well, except for this terrible acne. And I keep getting urges to cut myself while masturbating. Just don't use the good knives, okay? Shh. You'll wake somebody. Where the hell have you been? No call? Oh, not even a text? I've been worried sick. 
You could have been lying dead in a ditch for all I know, and I'm this close to putting you there myself. Get off my case. You don't understand. I understand plenty. You're a grown man with a wife and three kids and a job you're going to lose if you don't get serious and get that diploma. I mean, look at this homework. It says find X, and you drew an arrow pointing to the X. Well, that's where it is. You're not even trying, Jimmy. Me? All you're doing is partying and fooling around. But No buts. Now march up those stairs and go to your room, old man. You're grounded. It's not fair! What the hell is this? It's a field trip. You need to sign it. Jimmy, can I see you for a minute? What up, Peach? Can I just say what an amazing time I've been having in this class? No, really, I mean it. Eh. Hey. Go buy yourself an apple. Jimmy, night school isn't all fun and games, except for recess. You're struggling in class and failing your practice tests. I think you might have a learning disability. Oh! Did you just call me a gimp? No, and I would never use that term. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I am not a gimp! I agree. All you need is some extra help. Oh, yeah? Well, help this! Just to be clear, I do not have erectile dysfunction. Yeah, I got that. Did you see the look on that shopkeeper's face? Ooh, don't hurt me. I have a family. <laughs> what a wuss. Ugh. Good night. I love you, you beaks. <laughs> Tell anyone I said that, I'll cut out your liver. I've been expecting your call, Jimmy. Let me guess. You need help with Canadian history, or as we call it, history. While it is a long and noble saga, I wish to start on the day in 1814 when we marched on Washington and burned down your White House. Stop making shit up, McCool. This is serious. Turns out I got a learning disability, so seeing as I'm a moron, I'm gonna need you to fake that diploma for me. That can't be right, Jimmy. You ran a large criminal organization. The numbers running alone would have taken tremendous mental ability, not to mention outsmarting legions of de dedicated law enforcement officers. Do you see what I mean? I gotta go back to crime? No! It means there's nothing wrong with your intelligence. Of course, your morals are another story. You're right. I am smart. It's like the time Don Fanucci was leaving Chicago on a train going 80 miles an hour, and Don Palazzo left New York on a train going 50 miles an hour, and I whacked them both. I'm a fucking genius. You mean genius. Whatever. But, Jimmy, don't forget. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Perfect. I sweat like a pig. You can do this, Jimmy. Say it. I can do this, Jimmy. F How do you get a minus 2%? Not everyone learns at the same pace. So you're on the slow side, Jimmy. This is the number for the Student Help Center. All you need to do is ask. Uh, I'm Jimmy. I'm slow. I have a learning disability. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, what about your diploma? Screw that. School is for suckers. I hear you. Oh, I'm really going to miss Debbie's keggers. And I don't mean her beer parties. <laughs> you dropped out of school? What the hell is wrong with you, Jimmy? All you have to do is ask for a little help. That's it. Why can't you ever do that? Tell me about it. Remember our trip to Hawaii? <laughs> Would you just ask someone? I got it! You better get that diploma, Jimmy. It's one thing to drop out of high school, but I am not living with a night school dropout. You got that? I got it! Here, go nuts. Wait, are you asking me to take your GED test for you? No, I'm telling you to take my test for me. I'm afraid I can't do that. Why not? There's an old saying, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. I don't understand the thing you just said. And now I'm hungry for sushi. If you want my help, Pop, just ask. I'll be happy to tutor you, but I'm not taking the test for you. Fine. If you won't do it, I'll find someone who will. Sir, I understand you wish me to take the high school equivalency exam for you. Is that correct? Ah, crap. Can you believe this? The guy doesn't even speak English. Sir, it is my native language. You getting any of this? Waka, waka, waka. Must be Chinese or something. I was valedictorian of my high school. I have a PhD from Princeton. Speak English! <laughs> All right.
right, so we just gotta make a few stops on Albert Street. Eyes on the road! You're trying to get us killed? What are you looking at? Aw, oh, nuts. Don't you get it, Beaks? You don't gotta fly south ever again. Unless the cops are chasing you. Did I or did I not just tell you to keep your freaking eyes up on the road? What the hell? It looks like you whacked a library in here. There are two blue marbles and three red cups. How many different ways can you place the marbles into the cup? I can't do this, Cook. I'm disabled. Oh, for the love of God, you're not disabled. We both know you didn't quit high school because you had to earn a living. You quit because you wouldn't ask anyone for help. Because of your stupid pride. Your stupid, stubborn, sexy pride. Cookie, where we come from, a man doesn't ask for help. A man does things for himself. There's only one thing I want you to do for me, Jimmy. Name it. Pass. I want you to pass. Wait a minute. Two balls, three cups, six. The answer is six. Uh, Petey? Yeah, Pop? I need you. I need you. You need a helicopter? You're having a stroke? Timmy's in the well? Timmy's in the well? Help! I need your freaking help! All right, you got it. But if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it my way. You're gonna become a lean, mean learning machine when I'm through with you, you're gonna eat Latin and crap prime numbers. <laughs> Read. Faster, faster. Read, read. Okay, but why is he exercising? Because that's the way he learns. Pick it up, faster, faster. Slow down, check your work, check your answers. 41, 42, 43, 57, 58, 59, 12 times 12, 144. Why are you perverting my culture? Again! Correct! Give. I got it right! So. <coughs> Hey, man, how you doing? <coughs> Apparently, Apparently, I was dying. Anyways, why are you appropriating my culture? I I didn't do it. I, I'm, uh, <laughs> not guilty. You're killing my joke here, saying. man, by, you know, by taking too much time <laughs> entering. Like, forget about it, it's, you know, it's, it's us, it's Italy, it's Italians. It's the fucking mob, man, and you are appropriating our culture yeah. by watching the show we made for you. <laughs> <laughs> It's Canadian, right? Just because it's Canadian doesn't mean it's not doesn't mean it doesn't mean it's not Italian. <clears throat> it stars yeah. Italian people. Jimmy Falcone is Italian. <laughs> oh, sorry, make Google. I have to. <laughs> He's in Windows protection. So you know the show. See, like nobody, like anybody I ask around here, I'm like, "Have you heard of this?" They're like, "No." I, I found <laughs> it a couple years ago. I love this show. Forget about, forget about it. This fucking nuts. <laughs> it only lasted three seasons. Yeah, I know. It's hilarious. Uh, it's probably just the timing, though, because that was that was around the time you know the whole world went crazy. <clears throat> Well, the the world was always crazy. It, it, it just took the rest of us a while to notice. But you know, if you like this show, you really should look up Neighbors from Hell. Neighbors from Hell? 
Well, yes, do that it. right now. Check on YouTube or Gaytube or whatever. Oh, they might have it on YouTube. Oh, this one. Yeah. Maybe. What? What? This what? What, what, side are you using? what is this? Tubi. Tubi Why didn't you look for neighbors? Neighbors. Why didn't you look for neighbors from hell? I doubt. I, I doubt any streaming service would have it. It's very old. Uh, yeah. I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised Weird. if they have it. Yeah, no. Wait, maybe. Uh, check YouTube. So, have you been keeping up with the Wild Heart situation? Um, I only saw a little bit of what he was doing earlier, which was like nodding out. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really, I was, you know, All right. getting, getting to, well, getting to work and everything, but yeah, I, well, I know he's, uh, he's out, he's out on a bender since he got paid. Right. I mean, pretty much every day. I mean, hi, hello. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't die either missing mod, but, uh, I don't know if you heard about a certain incident. That happened on his channel, and I'm like warning everyone not to let him on for a while, or at least oh, yeah, to yeah. your capacity. I feel like if I say, I feel like it's, I feel yeah, like it's my civic about, duty about to do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's just. So, like, so did you it. find it? So did you find it on YouTube? <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. So what am I looking up again? Neighbors from Hell. Neighbors from Hell. Neighbors from Hell. Okay. Yes. Sorry. And screen share. Yep, sounds like a full episode. Good, share it. Share the screen. Let's watch... Let's watch the first one. I missed the show. There we go. Neighbors from Hell. Episode 1. Okay, if you put that up, I can't watch it. I don't know if you know that. Do what? I said, if you put that up, I can't watch it. I don't... I, I don't well, I mean, you're, you're the one who's able to watch oh, it. Oh, no. It's right? blocked? No, when you put up the banner, you know, you, 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 oh, you, you, you the can't see the tree. Yeah, or whatever. yeah. It's also muted, by the way, if you noticed. I'll try and, yeah. Also, do you, you know, since my connection is better, do you, do you want me to screen share? Uh, yeah, you can do that. Hang on, let me find it. Yeah, now we will both be able to see it, because I can see it in the backstage screen, so... Okay, hold on. Please be patient. I am very slow. 
Uh, yeah, I can <laughs> All right, I'm screen sharing. Okay, let me get back over here. I know, right? He's <laughs> crazier, trust me. Bust it! TV is illegal! Oh, no, the big guy wants to see you downstairs now! Oh, you're so busted! Oh, Bandit, oh, 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 you oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I didn't even like this so far. I'm laughing my ass off because I remember watching this. It's Good, bad. What do you What do you think? Oh yeah, I'm liking it so far. That's pretty fucking funny. Right? You know, I wanted wanted to see me, Dark Lord. You know, human television only exists in hell for the purposes of torture, not for entertainment. It rots the mind, and that is an actual fact. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, your impertinence may have just paid off. There. Behold, we have an emergency up on air. An American energy company called Petromundo is developing a drill which can literally bore straight through to the center of the air. I really don't need to tell you why that would be a problem for us, do I? Well, because the center of Earth is where hell is? You've been doing your homework. I like that. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to go topside, infiltrate that company, and destroy that drill. Completely. Me, mm. Dark Sire? But what do I know of Earth? According to my surveillance, yeah. every TV show ever made. And that, however flawed it may be, makes you the only demon who can blend in on Earth. How do I infiltrate that company, Dark Sir? I don't even work there. You do now. Uh -huh. <laughs> you and your family will leave for Earth immediately. Ooh, yeah, here's the thing. My wife just got this new job at the Department of Demonomic Affairs, and she's really not going to want to quit. So not a problem. And she's fired. Uh oh. If you succeed, I see executive stripes in your future. Fail and spend the rest of eternity staring at the inside of a Halcon 5000 soul compactor. Yes, nothing crushes souls like the Halcon 5000. Now with soul shredder option. Halcon. <laughs> oh, and uh, one more thing uh, you can't use your powers on Earth. Uh, well, why not, Dark Sir? To protect your cover, you insufferable mutt. You have to seem normal and fit in. Plus, watching you struggle is fun for me. <laughs> See, that's fun. Funny. Just to show you I'm fair, here's one pouch of devil dust. Don't blow it all in one face. Because you blow the dust in someone's face, you see? Good luck. I'll be in touch. This is the story about a demon hey. from hell. His job was torture. He tortured so well. One day he watched some illegal TV and Satan launched into Earth to save hell from a drill that could destroy them permanently. He say your name was from hell. You are a neighbor from hell. We are your neighbors from hell. 
The boss is allowing, dude. I swear to God, the boss is worse than Satan himself. Just watch. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, quit it! I'm hex messaging. I'm almost at level six six six. Hi, family. I'm home. <coughs> oh. Fired me on day three. Why would they fire me? Hmm, no particular reason springs to mind. Hey, I have some interesting news. I got a transfer to Earth. What? And we're all going. Yay! That's great, right? Earth. Ugh, too cold. Ew. That's where UG boots come from. Uh, and humans, double ug. Look, everybody, it's an assignment from the big guy himself. Plus, if I do well, Satan can press that button that unfires your mother. You got me fired. Oh, no, no, not on purpose. We need to tick. Uh oh. <laughs> if you all go to Earth, what becomes of the goblin and moi? You ain't leaving this behind, because when it comes to this family, I'm the muscle! <laughs> See? Pazuzu wants to go to Earth. All aboard the family adventure! Choo-choo! See? This doesn't seem so bad. Right now, these people are maniacs! <laughs> Chardonnay. Hmm, don't mind if I do nay. All right, family. North Industrial Salgahol. Can anyone tell me what that means? Seem normal, fit in, destroy the drill, save hell, and go home! Wow. I did not think anyone would get that that fast. Dude, I totally get you. Question, how does one fit in with these dirty, stinky, wretched, filthy humans? Great question. Do you know when, the, when was this made? Uh, growing. Uh, I can look it up really quick. Hang on. I guess I could have too. I bet. I was like, I was wondering if you knew off the top of your head. <laughs> nope. 2010. All right. 14 years ago. <clears throat> and I still love it. Pain. Cosby Show. Al. Pazuzu, pay special attention to that one. We're all going to study these shows. And learn to behave like a real human family. Doorbell singing again. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding. <laughs> I hope it's another one of those girls from the cookie army. Okay, everyone. Snorf industrial alcohol. Act human. Welcome, Wagon. Marjo St. Sparks from before. With the poo and the hi you. This is my soulmate, Champers. Say hi you, Champers. Hi you. Hi, I'm Balthazar. This is my wife, Tina, my daughter, Mandy, my son, Josh, Uncle Vlartark, and my soulmate, Pazuzu. You have a dog, too. And he's intact. <laughs> oh, I felt that one. God damn. I don't know about you, but that hurt. Jesus. Kev. Yeah. Sorry. I'm munching out over here. Not enough. <laughs> I know what you mean. I don't consider Champers a dog either. Especially after the late, late show. Uh. The bark? 
You should bring your family over tomorrow night. We'll have an all-American showcase showdown barbecue. Or let's just not have a barbecue. Not a chance, girl. It'll be fun. I'll help. I'll take you to my grocer. She'd love to go. Please, no, Baldy. Anything but this. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Damn, you know how to turn my crank. Damn, damn, damn. Waiter! We'll have what they're having. <laughs> I feel so bad for that dog. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's see how we Got you there, boy. Next time I won't miss. Don Kilbride, CEO, Petro Mondo. Hello, sir. Balthazar Hellman. Damn glad to have you, Hellman. Damn glad. As you may know, our last VP of R&D just up and died last week. 32-year-old guy. Damn this thing. He was eating up brunchables at his desk and his heart exploded. And now here you are with the perfect qualifications to replace him. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. We've had an explosion in our mine in Russia. Uh, 500 people are trapped. How do you want to handle it? Seal it. Collect the insurance money. Tell the families we did all we could and move on. Do you see what I mean when, it's, when I said the CEO is worse than Satan? <laughs> right there. <laughs> Just like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Holy faded sheets. Want to see my... Big drill. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I say to Brad, look, Brad, drugs are everywhere and we need to keep our kids clean. So we decided to make them do smack every day after school until they couldn't even stand the sight of it. It's fun. Snorfin, 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 snorfin. What's snorfin. your favorite thing to barbecue? Cats. Oh! <laughs> you are Good back, bro. Where's Lilo? Hi -ya! You mean you don't eat cats? Not unless I'm in a Chinese restaurant. Oh, can I get a double? What, 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 what? what are you doing, you goose? This is the third time you've gotten whammy jammied in there. <laughs> Again, I feel so bad for this dog. What the I just, this woman is a fucking monster. That's terrible. Dude, the humans are a lot worse than the show than the fucking demons, okay? I don't want to hear that the fucking demons are evil. Like, no. No. <laughs> They're just doing their jobs, okay? But humans have no excuse. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is better than CSI Miami. Heads up, ass clowns. This is Balthazar Hellman, our new VP of R&D. Hey, gang. Pow, pow. <laughs> and this is my little turkey, Chevdet. I'm not a turkey, sir. I am from the Republic of the Turkey. Whatever you say, dark meat, gobble, gobble. Anyway, Chev Dad here is the brains behind my big drill. If anything were ever to happen to this little brown genius, the whole drill project would be like every marriage I've ever oh, had. Was, dead on arrival. That you was over say. the top. Hot mm. corn! A baby owl just got stuck in the atrium fountain. I'm gonna go down there and bash its brains in with my three wood. <laughs> Again, evil. Do you like Mexican finger food? Uh, I love tapas, son. But I have a board presentation at 3 o'clock and I'm not ready. I'd never do anything to get you too drunk to make your super important 3 o'clock meeting, which would in turn initiate a sequence of events that would eventually destroy the drill. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Tapas place. Come on, Chevdet. Please come share small plates with me. Sorry, son. Rangic. Devil dust. Yes, I would love to join you for small plates. 
Double fist pump. Mm, mm. <laughs> and so I say to Brad, Brad, Scotty's in second grade. It's time for the birds and the bees talk. So one morning, while Scotty's enjoying brickies, Brad and I up and do it right there in the breakfast nook. I mean, Brad gave me a silent roger and right there under my shelf of Negro salt and pepper shakers. That doesn't offend you right, because we do it ironically. I'm going to put my hands around your neck just to see how it feels. Girl, this is so nice. I feel so connected to you right now. You and I are exactly alike. You and I are nothing alike. I, 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 believe it or not, you're my first Spanish friend. I am not Spanish. I can't wait to go on a cruise with you. A Penelope cruise. Oh, Spanish word play. Oh. Not that. Jesus. What fresh hell is this? Oh, it's Tammy Shinola from next door. The other next door, not my next door. We're not Lazarinos, even though she'd get on this purse if she could. Word to the wise, Tammy's got a little glug glug plus Vicodin problem. I'll get it. Hey, girl, what's going on? My cat Scrambles is missing. I can't find my brushes anywhere. <laughs> What? Don't tell me eating cats is demode here on Earth. Did he just say <laughs> Earth? What in the Sam H. Cracker is going on here, girl? Great going, Einstein. Now we're E equals MC screwed. My friend would like four more freaky teenies, please. I gotta go back to work. No way! I have a three o'clock presentation to the board, and I'm a host, man! I am a host! Double dust! More freaky thingies, please. I'm ready to get my mind freak on. Triple fist pump! <clears throat> Do I seem drunk, man? No, you seem great. Because if I screw up this presentation, they could fire me and cancel the drill project. Oh, really? I had no idea. Ah, it burns! Look at me. I am a terrible drunk. Just like my drunk, dirty father back in Istanbul. I moved to America to make a better life for myself and my family. <laughs> no, look at me. I'm a filthy disgrace. You know, I came to America to help my family too, Chef Dad. You did? See, man, people don't know how hard it is for guys like us. And now I've blown it, son. If I go in there, I am fired. I am asking. All these Tevatar clues are dependent on me. You should see my tax forms. And I am going to bring them shame. <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at the humanity these demons are showing. Well, everyone is fucking terrible. Well, almost yeah. everyone. <laughs> I just... What? Uh. Mr. Kilbride? Can we please move Chevdet's presentation until tomorrow? We just went to lunch, and I think he ate some bad cheese. Food poisoning? Poor little brown ape. Is he exploding on the bowl right now? Yes, sir. And in his pants. Monkey loving cheese. Probably from China. The only thing that country makes that can't kill you is their handguns. Let's push till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Reminder that this was in 2010, nine years before COVID. So this is. <laughs> Jesus. I really wish this show came back. <clears throat> tomorrow, people. Um, my mother's funeral is tomorrow, sir. I can't make it. Show up, Marty, or I'll bury you with your dead bag of hooker bones, mother. Be here. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid dad. I'm nothing like you. <sighs> You're off the hook, Chef Dad. You can do your presentation tomorrow. What? Oh, you saved my ass. Thank you, man. I want to kiss you on the mouth with appreciation. I owe you my life. <laughs> oh, I check that. Oh, freaky jalapeno tapas poppers. That was gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? 
What's going on in here? Tina, did you kill the neighbors? Snarf and Destra sell the hole. No, they are unconscious, thank you very much. And what the Snarf and Destra sell the hole is on your shoulder? This is Chev that Tevatoglu, the brains behind the drill. I couldn't get him fired and ruin his life. Why not? Because he's a terrific guy. Oh, come on. I did my part. I convinced Marge <coughs> normal. Great job. She's unconscious. So is your guy. Oh, come on. You come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mom, Dad. Please stop arguing. I can't do my spells if I'm upset. No spells. Spells are not snorfing. We are demons, Balthazar. We can't just put our lights under a bushel. Wait. You're demons? I thought you had green, shiny skin because you were Jewish. What's happening? Where am I? Marjo! The new neighbors are demon, not Jew! Oh! That's even worse! Oh! It's a... <laughs> Point no. that out. They thought they were Jew because of their <laughs> green skin, not demons. Wow. Right now, stop it! Stop it, all of you! Balthazar, Tina's doing her best to stop it. She spent the day with us maroon on the floor. If you don't think that's snorfing, then you wouldn't know what snorfing is if it sat on your face with a name tag that said, Hello, my name is Snorfin. And Tina, give Balthazar a freaking break. He busts his locks with his family. All he wants to do is make a better life for you and the kids. Plus, punishing the undeserving is not the way of the demon. <laughs> Oh, come on, God, this is JB. Uh, all right, we all want to get back home. We have to help Balthazar succeed as a family. That means Josh, reanimate Scramble. Yeah. And Mandy, erase the memories of these train wrecks on the floor. Remember, we are demons. And we have a job to do, so sack up. You got it? And on free time. Scrambles! There you are, my fuzzy angel. Mommy loves you. Hey, what am I doing on the floor? Did I accidentally sip some of Tammy's vitamin water? No, no. We were just getting ready for a barbecue. It's tomorrow. You really must come. I'm sorry, Hun Bun Bear. It looks like this mission's gonna take longer than a week. Uh, are you mad? Last night, I realized something, Balthazar. Life on Earth is miserable, but it's forcing us to work together as a family. And I don't think we've ever been closer. We had to leave home to find home. We're each other's home. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if it takes another week or 10 hundred years. At least we have each other. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 soldier boy. Just because I'm looking at the bright side don't mean I don't want to go back home to the dark side. And we will get back home to the dark side. I'll destroy that drill so hard. I'm so pumped. Barbie Cuba, good and junior. Oh, we're playing this Maximus. Well, hi. It's Marjo, my favorite girl who loves to wordplay. Oh, for show and tell. How you been, girl? Guess what? We bought Scotty a goldfish, and it's black just like those neighbors I ran out of town. So you'll never guess what we named it. Starts with an N and rhymes with Ren of the Pooh Care. <laughs> I don't know if you just heard this bitch said. <laughs> she, she bought her son a goldfish that's black, just like the neighbors she ran out. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? That's the oh first episode. Oh my god. Dirt! Oh, I'm gonna do the humor game! Awesome! Help, Paiyu! Oh, help! I love you guys! We love you too! <laughs> Okay, that never, that did not come up ever again. It's as far as I remember.
<laughs> like, the cat is a fucking demon as well? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Neighbors from hell. Next Monday at 10. <laughs> Josh has a crush. Josh and Bethany sitting in a tree. K I S S R U G. Gross! I'd never sit in a tree. <laughs> Prof is our hun bun. You know, I was thinking about how we could decorate the house. Let's burn it down and live in the ashes. Tina, we're not living in ashes. We agreed. If it isn't in one of these Texas magazines, we can't do it. Fitting in. That's your job. Fine. I'll keep looking. Speaking of jobs, I did yours, too. I found something that could help you on your mission. Testies? Well, according to this magazine, <laughs> if you get close to the boss during his off hours by sharing a hobby, you can earn his trust and write your own ticket at the office. It's what they call fast tracking it. You mean get him to come to adult gymnastics with me? No. You need to do what he likes. Exactly. That's your way in. Become BFFs with the boss. Then seem normal, fit in, destroy the drill, save hell, and go home. Snorf and Desperate sell go home. I know. I can snoop around Kilbride's office and find out what he likes to do. I'll go with you. Not true. Okay, and what was that? I don't know if it's just my my thing. I'm I'm not sure if the stream went unavailable or not. I mean, what can you still see? Well, I can still see what we're doing, but like when they do that, when they when it goes like stream unavailable, like my YouTube stream just crashed, and I'm trying to reboot it right now. It won't come up. I can't well, see. I still the YouTube, wait, hold on. But... I still see it now. I'm just I'm just seeing the older primates. Okay. And this show, this show is yeah, old they... enough, it's old enough yeah. to where I really don't think they give a shit. Yeah. Right. Now let's go back to watching that. Sure. It, it might just be my uh, device or whatever. I just wanted to make sure. I'll have the house all fixed up for you by the time you get home. Tina, don't go crazy. Snorfin, I know. <laughs> Story about a demon from hell. His uh, name was torture. He tortured so well. And he watched some illegal TV and saved them on to earth to save hell from a drill that could destroy them permanently. He's saying your name was from hell. We are your neighbors from hell. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 there's not much here. Aha! I see! Let's break into it! No dynamite! What the hell is going on here? It's not what you think. Oh, it's exactly what I think. Dog golf. I haven't played that since that weird week in Mexico. That's one hell of a swing you got there, Hellman. How'd you like to play golf with me at the club on Saturday? We're going toe-to-toe -to -toe against my nemesis, Bud Munger. There's a major wager. You can bring your family and make sure you bring that pup. Hoo-ha! I found your hobby! <clears throat> Goodness, I can't believe it's one two. <laughs> no! Oh, I like it. <laughs> Two 
Tina, what did you do? I told you we can only do what's in the magazine. Relax, Johnny McSkazer. It's in the magazine. This is an advertisement. It says, what if your house was an irritable bowel? This is not snorfing. Listen, if we're going to live topside, I want to feel comfortable in my own house. Oh, and don't park in the driveway tomorrow. The backhoe is being delivered so I can start on the lava moat. No backhoes and no lava moats. You're coming with me to Kilbride's Country Club tomorrow. Surrender your paintbrush and Lowe's car. Ah, oh, Balthy, I don't want to go to a country club. It's just more horrible humans behaving horribly and lying about it. I mean, where's the beatdown for these people? Tina, we're not allowed to punish the deserving here. We're out of our jurisdiction. Like Axel Foley and Beverly Hills Cop. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. There is no way I am going to that club. Hey, Tina girl. Want to come with Champers and me tomorrow to get our anal glands expressed? The club sounds great. <laughs> Four. All right, family meeting. Pazuzu and I are hitting the links with Kilbride. Tina, you're spending the day with Kilbride's wife. Kids, find other kids. Vlartark, why are you here? I thought you would benefit from being seen with someone with my level of sophistication and elegance. Plus, when I'm home alone, the dark thoughts come. So did you watch Tin Cup last night like I told you so you could know everything about golf? I meant to, but it came in a Kevin Costner box set, and I got distracted by the bodyguard with special audio commentary by one of Whitney Houston's real bodyguards. Isn't that a mind blower? I <laughs> know. <laughs> uh, it's real as well, or it's still alive. What was that? I just realized Wild Heart's still alive. Yep. Is he awake, though? Looks like it. He's doing karaoke again. And hey, we're having fun here. At least I am. I haven't seen this show in a while. Yeah. I'm having fun. Diggies. They deserve to be punished. Lorelai Kilbride. You must be Tina Hillman. Let me give you the lay of the land. Cheating on his taxes. Cheating on her husband. Cheating on her husband with a dog. Hey, Tina girl! Got the anal glands expressed! <laughs> Killed a man. Fuck? Had a great lawyer. Now look at him. Enjoying lunch like nothing happened. I'd love to shove that cob salad down his fat throat. Whoa, Lorelai. You are the first human I've met who really gets it on the earth. I mean, in the neighborhood. Hey, do you ever think about building a moat around your house so that you don't have to deal with all these lower life forms? Ugh, it's like you climbed into my mind and laid eggs. Drinkies! Oh, I love it here! <laughs> well, if it isn't Bud yeah. Munger. How's your mom, Donald Duckface? <laughs> Still walking funny? Send me the bill. Oh, this your ringer? You bet I am. Tad Barkley, Wharton School of Business. I, too, had sex with your mother. <laughs> Up top. Bark. <laughs> oh, ho, not bad, Tad. But look what my boy can do. Do the thing with the dog. Sorry, little buddy. Just tell him to watch the ears. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. It's nice to hit something you're not married to once in a while. Should we tee off? <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. He'd be an asshole. He's an asshole. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Hilarious. It's nice to hit something that you're not married to once in a while. <laughs> God damn. Does your mom have sex for nickels and chicklets? Nope. Mm. Mm. Oh. Ah! Ah! You're really good at shuffleboard, Josh. And pretty cute, too. Pushing plastic discs is fun for me. Ugh, what are you doing here alone with weird Josh? He's not your boyfriend, is he? Ew, 
no way. I was wasting time till you got here. Thank God. Come with us. We're gonna go patrol the fence to make sure no Persians get in. Sounds cool, yo. <laughs> Why are the humans so fucking bad in this show? Like, I feel sorry for the demons. Like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice ringer kill, Bride. He's just like your mom, trying to stay out of my pants. He's not good at it. Be because your mom's in my pants frequently. Hellman, you're awful. We're 40 strokes over. I'm one putt away from firing you, boy. Ah, uh, want another whack at my mutt? I do love pounding your pooch. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I felt that! I think I heard a rib crack! Boy, hitting that dog makes me forget about how much I want to fire you. That's great. Hold on to that feeling, sir. Woof, bark, bark, woof! What's up? What's up? My ass in a tree! I can't believe you just offered me up like that. And in case you're wondering, it hurts. I'm sorry about that, but I'm a crappy golfer. And when Kilbride hits you, he likes me. And this is what we need for our mission right now. At what cost, man? <laughs> At what cost? <laughs> Stand back, little boy. This horse is out of control. Better get my shotgun. <laughs> What's wrong, horse? Lay move my lady down to the lower barracks. She ain't talking to me. I may have cheated on her. I got to apologize. I think I can help. <laughs> so random. <laughs> well, he's a demon, so of course he would have fucking animal reading powers or animal talking powers. And he does a do little. <laughs> Fifteen serving love. <laughs> That's for betraying your wife, you whore. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, this game is wild. So we can just hit guilty people in the head for points? That's the idea, queer. Mexican corner pocket. <laughs> Justice just got served. Yeah. So what did he do? Did he kill a toll booth operator? Did he sexually assault a goldfish? No, he was born brown. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, you're not about justice. Sure I am. Yeah, I know, right? Just as white people. And whatever you are with your funky green skin. Uh, time to the out. What's that fat, creepy dog kid doing to the horses? What? That's no that creepy dog kid, that's my son, Josh. Girl, here's the thing. You are dynamite and your family is dynamite, but if you want into this club, you have to lose the son. Excuse me? Take him out behind the barn, shoot him in his fat face. Consider it an abortion in your 157th trimester. You just bought yourself a ticket to Pain Island. You messed with my children, and that is my jurisdiction. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't fuck with women's kids. <laughs> Tina, I broke into Cindy Funk's locker. You want to see some terrible underpants? I would love to see Cindy Funk's terrible underpants. But first, do you mind if I hold you by the wrists and stare into your eyes? Say, just because we're in the ladies' locker room doesn't mean we have to get all LPGA. But whatever, I'm drunk. 
Horum, gorum, pudding and wettle. I call up the devil's fire and metal. Lord of the goat herd, come to us to settle. I now possess you with a demon goat spirit of Quetzi Pepper. What in the he now is going on? You listen here, Biznatch. No one calls my kid Fat Creepy Dog Boy and lives to tell the tale. He is a good, interesting, husky boy who marches to his own drummer. Oh, Lordy him, Puddin', are you gonna kill me? <laughs> oh, that's silly. I would never kill you, but once Quetzi Paddle takes over, you're gonna wish you were dead. <laughs> Excuse me, did I overhear you might be LPGA? Do you wanna grab some hard cider back in my condo? I'd love to, but I have a demon goat spirit to wrangle. Good day, sir. <laughs> Fucking randomly hitting a nun. <laughs> it's like telling, fuck you, God. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, sweating balls of gore. We're down 92 strokes with one hole left. Give me that <laughs> club and tee up that mutt. <laughs> I'm gonna crush your skull. No more! I'm sorry, but I cannot watch my little gob mutt endure any more pain. But smacking this gob mutt is the only reason I haven't fired you so far today. I understand. So you're willing to get fired over this? Aww. Yes, sir. Some things have a price that's just too darn pricey. You're a fool. A fool for friendship. Uh, rub through. Hey, it sounded like your dog just said I love you. That's crazy. <laughs> Sorry, I was choking on a pretzel. Let me take another run at it. I love you, old chum. <laughs> a talking dog. I'm laughing so hard, but this is just so fucking. I love this show. <laughs> oh. He's dead. Bud Munger is dead. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Bets off. No happy day. Uh, why is that, sir? If Munger won the bet, he would have gotten the Petromondo drill. <laughs> and the worst part was. He wanted to destroy it. Imagine destroying the drill. Whoa, that was a close one. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> The dog not talk to one that died. I'm like, I love this show, Kev. You have no idea how much I miss this. You yeah, might speak now. For me. <laughs> it's, a, it's a first time for me. So <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't you die on me. Don't you dare die on me. I love the like Oh, crap. <clears throat> Looks like Lorelei got into my hair loss meds again. <laughs> She's headed straight for the polo pony panic. Quetzi pedal? Tina. Hellman, get the cart. When she gets like this, you need the strength of an Aussie Rules football team to calm her down. So we're okay, <sighs> sir? My job is safe? Safe as a John Phillips bedtime story. If you're his daughter... Oh, of course like, what? not. You're fired, but you'll be dead if you don't help me. Ah, rats. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Say hi to heaven for me. <laughs> for a lie, no. <laughs> What's that fat, creepy dog kid doing in there? I know what I'm doing. You're going to get my Lorelei trampled. Get out or get shot. <laughs> what was that? that is so funny. <laughs> Apparently, of uh, you know, the slow motion. He didn't yeah, even yeah. fire yet. <laughs> I love this. I probably don't have to say it, but that oh. was from the bodyguard. And in hindsight, I'm glad that no shots were fired. Now, Mr. Kilbride, please let my son do his thing. He's very good with animals. Fine. But if anything happens to precious wifey number six, say adios to both chachos. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Josh, do your thing. No pressure. It's just my ball chachos. <laughs> I love you. Pony, <laughs> <laughs> I brought your girlfriend horse Angela. <laughs> Did you tell her that the other mare meant nothing to me? He told me everything. Oh, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my girl alone, you bitch. <laughs> Tina Marie Hellman, stop this right now! <laughs> Josh is going to fire! Tina. I know, right? <laughs> I have a gun pointed at my good stuff. Oh, fine. Wettle, petal. Who gives a shuttle? Just get out of here. Oh, no. Did I just do another donkey show? <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Horses need some private time, kids. Who wants a mini quiche? I'll take one. Mandy, honey, uh, where did you get all that new clothing and bags and shoes and wonderful accessories? From my Chanel helicopter. Uh, yeah. Mandy, honey, where did you get the Chanel helicopter? Persians. All I had to do was open the fence a little so they could get in. Hi, Josh. Sorry I was mean before. Could we still be together? No, Bethany. You need to learn a lesson about how to treat people with respect and dignity. Plus, I found a new girl with bigger tetes. Hellman, you lucky SOB. Your blind faith in your nit. <laughs> but son, just bought you and your nachos balls grande a stay of execution, boy. What? Uh, I'm not fired? Far from it. I'm giving you a promotion. So I'm in charge of the drill? Hell no, that's Bush League. If you can manage this little freak on the home front, I can't wait to see what you can do with the retards and plastics. Artificial wombs, boy. That's the future. Lorelei, put your shirt back on this instant. I... I think the implication here is that she's being fucked by the horse. So therefore, I think the horse cheated on the mare with a human. <laughs> Maybe. I don't fucking know. They never show it, obviously, but <laughs> what the fuck? You guys. <laughs> here you are with a side of money. And here for your nards. Thanks. I didn't want to be a goblin father anyway. I'm just kidding. My life will not be complete unless I father a child. Defend your actions. How have you failed me this week? <laughs> um, actually, this week was pretty good. I got a promotion. What did you do? Join a country club? Mm, little golf, little tennis. Mm. Wow. How'd you know that? Hey, who do you think invented country clubs anyway? <laughs> Girl, what did you learn? I learned Persians are rich and generous. Obvious. Bored. Next. Tina, my dearest. I don't have anything. That's all right, girl. Looking fine. Can I add one more thing? Popularity is like a double-edged sword. 
Sure, it's like a cocaine trip to the center of the sun. Exciting, hot, melty. But at the end of the day, will popularity bring you soup when you're sick? Family. That's what matters. It sounds like you took a cocaine trip to the center of your vagina. What? I'm talking about the drill, boy. The, are you any closer to destroying the drill? Unbelievable. Um, hey. Don't you ever do a Fun's voice after I've just done a Fun's voice. Destroy the drill! I propose a toast to us and to a wonderful week. Kudos. Huzzah! 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 Don't miss an... Okay, so now that you've gotten a taste of uh, episode one and two, uh, are you going to go watch it on your own? Yeah, yeah, I'd probably do that. Uh, okay, so <sighs> yeah. let me see. Is the idiot still alive and awake? Uh, I don't know. I haven't watched it. <clears throat> it been a few minutes ago. Okay, so we got a history. Uh, okay, first two episodes. Uh, you. Now I think. Actually, no, yeah, he's still alive. Let me see. Yeah. I'm gonna go over there for a bit and just, you know, punch you down. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy. I might pop in. And, and you and you enjoy and you enjoy the next eight episodes. I, I you know I fucking watched them, young man. I will test you. All right. <laughs> I'll get into it. I'll get into it. <laughs> Thanks for coming, man. I expect a full report by next week. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you know that. This All right, boy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Later. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Man, man, man. Really? In this. Oh shit. Didn't see that one coming. There's a chess game going on here. It's pretty intense. That time and that 58 years old, Donna Jean is now the Guinness World Record holder for.
any woman attempting a plank. I had someone ask me, like, how do you feel about always being called grandma? But I love that. Actually, all 12 of her grandchildren were present at a place very special for the family. McGrath Elementary, Junior and High School in their hometown of Alberta, Canada is where she... First and foremost, my heart aches for the Hutchins family and friends and colleagues as well. And it has since the day this tragedy occurred. Helena has been. Oh, yeah, this is that chick I was talking about from this movie or whatever. Right. Always will be an inspiration to me. She like the maximum sounds or whatever. Failed to probably check the weapon, I guess. Alright. Check it all while the harp. Okay, that's what's going on over there. Has anyone actually tried to go into the stream? Those are the same comments from earlier. Yeah. 
Yeah, midnight's in there now. <clears throat> listening to me right now then you have almost certainly survived the 2024 total solar eclipse can you believe that people actually th thought terrible things would happen during that eclipse what am i saying if, if you've been watching this channel for any length of time then you're almost certainly going to believe that people People think that, well, one lady thinks it didn't even happen. And the whole thing was just a hologram. I love this with Sam Andy. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tinfoil Tuesday with me, Simon and Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. The recent total solar eclipse on April the 8th was fantastic. I sat and watched it with my kids on a live stream on YouTube and it certainly did not, not disappoint. I was lucky enough to witness one firsthand myself here in the UK in 1999 at the tender age of 16. Not really really able to appreciate the wonder of it. Unfortunately, the next total solar eclipse here in the UK is not until 2090. However, a 90% eclipse is visible in 2026. But for some, the awe of the eclipse was not what it seemed. And one lady who runs a channel called Starkey Farmstead is claiming that it was nothing but holotech and CERN. Let's see what she has to say, shall we? Hello everyone. Welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. My name is Samantha. And I want to talk to you about the possibility of the government or even the military or the shadow government projecting a hologram during the great American Oh no she didn't you think of the possibilities eclipse it's not just America that experienced the eclipse Mexico Canada were also in the path of totality. Well, it is a North American eclipse, to be fair, isn't it? I'll give you that one. And don't think I didn't hear you say that it was a hologram. Can't wait to hear your evidence for this. Okay, jumping right in. Why do I say this? Because you have absolutely no clue what's going on during an eclipse. Well, one, because this technology is so much more advanced than we, we normal people realize. And here recently, a woman who is filled with the God, this is terrible, terrible.
the Holy Spirit that I trust very much made a comment that she's not sure she wants to watch the eclipse. She feels like in her spirit, something is going to be projected rather by sound, which we know can affect humans and animals, because we're all in the animal kingdom, or they're going to project a hologram. Right. So your friend. friend who is filled with the Holy Spirit says that they, whoever they are, are going to project a hologram where they're supposed to be. Fucking shit just happened. Everything's going crazy. It's supposed to be an eclipse. Now that seems a little bit far-fetched madam i'm afraid I recently brought to you what is going on on with NASA today and the ships they're fixing to send up into to the atmosphere see how communication sound light moves this is very important so so you think NASA are sending up spaceships to study sound and communication. Okay. As I said earlier, any evidence for this or is it all just guesswork? Some of us can imagine <laughs> very well what this technology could be used for. She's talking here, of course, about hologrammatic tech she just showed a video on her channel on her video showing us all how it's supposed to work the thing is we know how sophisticated holograms are now no one's arguing that but to say they used a hologram in place of an eclipse an event which different people in different places saw differently is quite simply preposterous think about the book of revelation when it says that the entire world at one time will see the Antichrist die and rise back alive. Right? And who is the Antichrist in this scenario? Well, there has to be technology innovated for all of that to happen. You guys think about my father. Some of you watch his channel, Papa Sammy and Ali Bug. We recently brought him a lawnmower that is AI, artificial intelligence. It is programmed to cut his yard. He goes on vacation, puts the lawnmower in the shop on a table to keep it safe so no one will steal it. And this thing, he turned it off, powered it off. It's not plugged in, it's not docked, nothing. Powered off on a table in a shop. He gets a text message while on vacation. 
application that says, help me. Oh, my days. We've moved on to possess lawnmowers. I am three feet off the ground and I want to go home. Seems like a re reasonable request for a lawnmower. It meant back to its docking port. I'm fucking dying right now. This is great. <laughs> it meant it turned itself back on and text him. He didn't program his phone number into the AI. He programmed it into, you know, the web page or the um, the program so he could map his yard. Not entirely unreasonable to suggest that the uh, AI lawnmower is tied to his online account. In fact, I imagine that's mandatory. But this thing turned itself on, uh, got back on the web, found a phone number, and sent him a text. Hey, Mark Dog, what's up? Am I here? Yeah, yeah, you're in the you're in the room. How's it going today? Hey, man, it's uh, it's going all right. Uh, better than you're about to be after this fucking rap battle. The rap battle, huh? Yeah. I don't uh, I don't usually do rap. Oh, uh, so rap battle is. A activity of, of mental acuity. Um, it's on the spot, and here we are. So I'm 49 and 0. Okay, I don't mean to intimidate you. I don't mean, mean to make you feel any type of way about that. But um, here we are. So yeah, I'm I'm the defending champion. Okay, I'm 49 and 0. Like I previously stated, that's a fact. I'm going ask the streets. So I'm going to choose to go second here, all right? The floor is yours. Uh, I, yeah, I am I have no preparation for this. I don't even know where I would start. <laughs> You've got 25 seconds left. No, you go for it. Yeah, give me what you got, man. It's all you. You've got 15 seconds left. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Okay. Well, so I'm going to respond here if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah, the floor is yours. His arms are heavy, knees weak, mom's spaghetti, on his vomit sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous. It looks like his name is Purvis. Guess what? I'm about to drop bombs like Saddam, doing it on your head. One, two, three, you're dead. They call me the Mart Dog because I'm smart. And I got a big hog. You ain't nothing but a frog on a log. You're done, son. Like Roy Munson in the bowling alley. Time to see Sally. Guess what? You is nothing but a chicken butt. Oh, uh, yeah. I do it every day. You ain't got nothing to say. You're done. 
So, I mean, <laughs> at this point, I'm going to uh, defer to uh, the audience. And uh, I'm pretty confident that I won that. Would you, would you? I mean, like you can forfeit, but like I'm just like if that was if that was your rap battle, I'm sorry, sir, but I uh, I'm pretty confident that I slayed you. All right. Yeah, man. I think I have to concede. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, so look, I'll, 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 I'll appreciate you for being good sport, but um, never stop the best. Never stop the best. That's a lesson. That's a lesson that you have to learn. And um, <laughs> oh, it was nice to nice nice battle with you, but uh, I'm gonna go about my way. I, I got, I've got to add to my tally. I think I'm now officially 50. You know, um, you can congratulate me. That's fine. Right. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, man. Well, so. Thanks for coming in. I'm happy to be able to notch into your belt, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry to just dunk on you like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to just fucking eviscerate you like that. I'm sorry to just fucking <laughs> demolish you like that. But uh, that's what happens when people step the best. This is a cautionary tale. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right. Well, you have a good night, sir. All right. You too. <laughs> All right. Thank you, buddy. All right. God, Godspeed. And uh, if, so, look, maybe, maybe um, I should probably have some like mental health things available for people after I just absolutely demolish them. You know what I mean? But like, oh yeah, I'm in therapy. It's all good. Thank you. You're gonna need to double up because you're in trouble, Cub. All right. Good night. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, Mark Dog, for the epic rap battle. Okay. I have to uh, admit defeat. I was I was completely obliterated there. Oh, shit. this is where this is where we're at this morning. <laughs> Welcome in, William. <laughs> You came at just the right time. See what we deal with over here. Hey, what's up? Welcome, Sammy. Good to see you. The silence is golden. I was like, you, you, hit me with your best shot. This fucking lady. A text. Don't tell me some crazy things can't be done to confuse and convince people they're seeing something that isn't real. An AI lawnmower and an international world event like an eclipse are two very different things. This is sent all folks. So I know you've been watching a lot about holograms. Hang in there. There's only a minute more of that. We're going to move into the weather. We're going to move into CERN opening up portals. No. Listen to me. You need this whole video. Don't stop now. Push through. <laughs> Occupy this time. You really need to hear what they. can do so you understand if something doesn't feel right in your spirit doesn't line up with the bible that you can turn away from it just completely unhinged it's just amazing what's up jill literally walking and speaking why i'm sitting down right now Why would you need to reason with Mark? He is very unreasonable. Mark? Mark who? Who are we talking about? Is there a Mark? 
I don't remember that. And you will not be deceased. This ugh, deceived. Excellent. What about those of us that don't follow the Bible? I know it sounds far-fetched, Sam. I know people would probably think I'm crazy. But the Holy Spirit's just really warning me that maybe I shouldn't watch this eclipse. Now listen, noticing that there are severe weather alerts all across the South of America and Southern states. And that that weather is going to move up, right? One of the better things that I decided to do in my adult life was to see a therapist. The biggest barrier to entry has always been finding fucking did it again. to move up right well we get weather patterns so that's not anything amazing no and an eclipse has very she's afraid to go out in the eclipse because the lord told her not to very minimal effect on the weather and those effects are usually delayed but Could God be disrupting their ability to broadcast something like that? Just think about it. What's that? World hunger? No, I'm not dealing with that right now. I need to stop these humans from messing around with the eclipse. Is that me? The eclipse? No, mate. I haven't got a clue where that's come from. Not a clue. If you saw my previous videos on CERN and the satellite, I'm sorry, the um, spaceships that NASA is going to be shooting into the sky today, right now, messing with the ionosphere, then you're going to understand a little more about the video clip I'm fixing to show you. NASA weren't messing with the ionosphere. They were studying the ionosphere during the eclipse. And why I... Hey, Ben, welcome back. That was a complete fucking waste of time. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if you want to, I don't know if you want to, want me to talk about it or just get back to you're watching climate change or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is just Simon and Dan. I didn't want to, I don't know. I didn't want to uh, roast on him. He's, he's, he's still, uh, he may still be fucked up over there. Yeah, he's still fucked up over there. He said, I'm at midnight, I love you, you're great, you're that. Like, dude, I, I keep telling him to stop saying that. It means nothing coming from him, right? He also, he, he, if he also has a... He also apparently has the, uh, the mental health people coming to visit him soon or whatever. And not only that, but not only that, but you know, but but his mother is enabling him by buying, out buying vodka for him. Like really, rather than not doing that, you it just Jesus fucking Christ. It's like why do I still give a shit about you know, about him? But you know when when I even told them when, when you know when when if it, when if it was if I, if I did have the shit that this motherfucker has, 
everyone would have, everyone would have, everyone would have abandoned me already. Like I'm just being honest here. Hey, <sighs> can't pick who we love. Well, how are you defining love in this case? Brotherly yeah. love of humanly love, you know, like being, you know, yeah. loving your fellow man. I guess we you know the the fellow man type of deal. She just she just uses uh Anyways, I didn't. I didn't mean to drag it down. Yeah. That's what it is. I knew what's going on. Okay. Uh, well, really, which which conclusion was that? Oh, the one I just said. Experience. Experience. Yeah. That's how I came to that conclusion. Because there have been many people throughout my life who who have abandoned me for like for like. The minimalist shit, right? You know, like you know, you know, not being able to respond well. You know, being I've gotten better at it, obviously, over time. But it's just, it's it's just, you know what I mean? They, sorry, let me gather my. So I, I, I feel I, I'm not even drunk, and I feel like I'm not even drunk, and I get, you know, I feel like my, I can't, my brain doesn't function. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it is 6 a.m., so I guess that's a... Well, I don't know if you heard me about experience, right? That's that's how that that's how I came to that conclusion, because there have been a lot of people throughout my life who, for one reason or another, have just given up on me, right? They, you know, they, 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 they were there for me for a bit, and then they just gave up. Yeah, you, you know, yeah, yeah like, I'm not going to... Oh my god. That's a good point. I should choose better friends. Perhaps, perhaps the people I chose were shitty friends to begin with. That doesn't you know that 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 doesn't erase the experience and the feeling that that would happen had to you know if it uh, if you know if uh if I if I did have the shit that he did, but it's I don't know, I'm still I'm still trying to overcome that. It's just it's it's annoying when I see that. I try, like I try to, let it, I try not to let it bother me, but uh, I understand. I, I understand we need like past experience, you know, to help us. But at the same time, past experience is a bitch, <laughs> right? Uh, sorry for not making. Sorry for not making sense. No, it makes perfect sense to me. I mean, you know, at some point, the video, like, tries to choose to get better, you know? I mean, we can only do so much. Yeah. No, I, I, I know, like, I'm... I know I'm not a loser, right? I, I, I do... My best not to have the victim mentality. Obviously, I'm just, I'm just saying that. You know, this is why. This is why. I, this is why I, I I don't talk about this shit that much, right? Because I make does make me come off as a oh you're playing the victim, okay? No, I'm just trying to express. I'm just trying to express what what the, like the, what I've experienced and will and what what I see. As double standards, right? When it comes to me, but it's whatever. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Want to watch some more cartoons? What was that? I'm gonna watch some more cartoons. You wanna go for episode three? 
Yeah. I should get my day going, but one more. Actually, no, let's do two more. We'll go about 7 a.m. <sighs> no cartoons just yet. Hold on. <laughs> oh, you, you got an argument for, for us here? <laughs> I understand <clears throat> your complaint, but at the same time, whether you realize it or not, those of us that are your friends, that if we experience you going through a a, a uh, existential crisis or something like that, we would respond to you in a very in a you know in a way that is similar to Wildheart. But you're not Wildheart. You don't require the same attention. You like attention. But you're strong. I mean, who doesn't? But yeah. Right. But when you when you complain about a double standard, first off, that is victim language. And I know that you don't want to sound that way. But that but it's learned behavior to say that. The other thing is it's an untested claim that you've made. And for those of us who would respond to you and do care about you, it's it's insulting. It's it's dismissive. No, I get that. And I don't mean to come off that way. I know it does, it just I, I, <laughs> I'm just saying that if you were in trouble, my friend, do you really doubt that I, that, I mean, do you think I would just like turn my back on you? No, I don't okay. like, I don't think that people, people now will do that. Like it's it, all, 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 all this is just based on past experience with Shitty people, yeah. Choose better friends. Yes, I should yes. have done that. Okay, I should. Well, you didn't know any better. You didn't know. You didn't know how to compare your friendships and relationships. But yeah. you're in the same group of friends that Wildheart is. So, just you know, be glad that we haven't had to pity you the way that we do him. Uh, yeah. yeah. I I am. I just didn't. I didn't. I didn't mean to. No, we're good, buddy. I just wanted okay. you to see the other side of it and hear it from my perspective. How I'm hearing you say it, because yeah, you, you know we all care about you, right? Hello, yeah. wake up. <laughs> <laughs> you can do cartoons now. I'm done saying gay stuff. <laughs> it wasn't gay. That was actually. Well, it's gay for some people. I don't give a shit. It was. I thought it was manly. There you go. Because you actually you, you know, you said we care about you. You know, we we, we don't want to pity you like Wildheart because you're not you're not you're not there. You're above. I I get what you mean, and I do appreciate it. Sorry, I can't really articulate it back to you. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, we all, we all uh, good good crews have a have to have a wild heart, right? Yeah, right. You know, it's funny you say that because I was thinking about that uh, while I was trying to get myself into a position where I could get on here. <clears throat> yes, everyone in every group is going to have someone in the group that's in some sort of crisis, right? That it can crisis has happened. Crises, you know what I'm trying to say. Yes. Shit happens, and some people need to 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 be involved in it. Like some people have a a need to help people, and in that group, sometimes we choose groups where there's a lot of need because some people have a, a like I said a need to help people. Does that make sense? It does, and I really hate this need at times because it keeps coming because it keeps. It keeps, it keeps me, you got what I'm saying. Yeah, but I was saying like the wild heart thing, wild heart tends to, yeah. you know, and I think Irenic needs help, but he's beyond any, any help that, that we know how to give him. Um, But you, but you don't, you, you, you don't hate the, the people like, like Jill's clearly got some, some problems. I mean, you've heard him talk. He's out there now. 
He's clearly got some problems, right? But he's here to get help too. You know, friendship's something that, that Jesus can't give him. So he's 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 hanging he's hanging around pretending to argue with people, but in reality, he's just trying to make friends. He's got a problem and he's he's working on it. Yeah. A Jesus size problem. <laughs> he's gonna be so mad. <laughs> but yeah, I like I've I also have, like I said, I also have this need to help people. It, it, it's what keeps making me go back to Wild Heart, right? A lot of people say, oh, just forget about him. You know, focus on your own, improving yourself, which I still am. But at the same time, it's like, I want to help this fucker. I want to see him do better, not, you know, not not be where he is. You know, I, I, I think everybody in here, the, the three people in here, want that. Well, the other two people I'm in. Yeah, I do. I think I think we all have shit that we need help with, right? Yeah. Wildheart definitely needs help, and he knows he needs help. But does he have the the self discipline that that comes with being a man to say, you know, I fell, but I got to get fucking back up and do the right thing because I know it's the right thing. It's not a moral thing issue, is, it's, a, it's knows, a survival thing. He, he knows what he's doing by live streaming. He's acting out, you know, and it's like... Mm -hmm. like yeah. Call it what it is. Call it what it is. It's a cry it, It's a cry for attention, right? Yeah. He needs somebody to pity him and give him another reason, to another excuse to not quit what he's doing. If he can just yeah, get a couple other... of people... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, and his mother doesn't really help. I buy him vodka. Like, I was there when his mother called, and he asked for 80 pounds. Oh, so you can get vodka? Oh, don't worry. I know I, you know, I know a cheaper place, you know, a place to get, to get vodka cheaper. And, I, you know, and I'm sitting there going, are you fucking kidding me? Because, you know, because, because he, he doesn't mute when, he, you know, when he's on a phone, at least not every time. Have, have you been inside of her house when he's standing outside her door, pounding on it, bothering no. the neighbors? Threatening to fight his stepdad if they don't give him money to get his shit. No. Like, she's got every reason to want to just shut him up and hope that it, that someone else will take on the problem. You saw how she responded to what DT was saying yesterday, right? Uh, remind me. I, 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 I was paying attention, but I may not, may not have remembered. Uh, right. When she saw that DT was trying to get uh, him help. Like she didn't give a shit what it was as long as it's help. Like, get, get this kid you know, out <laughs> off of me. Right. Cause he's, he's been, he's been a, a, a man child and drunks tend to, to remain in that sort of uh, infancy, whether they want to or not. It's not something that I, I think they can help, but like, uh, you know, he's been in that position and you're right. She's enabled it. But at this point, like she, she's, she's done so much that he can't, she can't, she can't tell him no, cause he'll get violent. And that that is a fair point. It's just it's yeah. I... You raise a child before they're eighteen. Like at at a certain point, you just can't. They're adults. You can't fucking teach them shit. I I, I agree that she's been coddling him and keep she keeps enabling him, keeps giving him money, but like he focuses on her when he doesn't and it and his stepdad when he doesn't get what he wants like they become targeted because he thinks that they're supposed to continue doing what they've done since he was a toddler yep yeah and putting it like that i i, I get why she doesn't just it's she missed her window if she wanted to train him <laughs> Yep. I mean, I have the same complaint for like single moms that that are that are refusing to to actually earn the respect of their sons. I don't, what they do with their with their uh, daughters is whatever, because women can train women to be women, but they definitely can't train <laughs> men to be men. And when a young man begins to realize that he can overpower his mother, and there's really nothing she can do, especially between the ages of fourteen and eighteen since she can't really kick him out and he can basically dominate her. 
And if he does that pattern long enough, then you can expect his next or first real relationship. He'll expect to do the same thing to that woman and the next woman. You know, so that's a pattern. I think that I think that's where that pattern comes from. That's why I left the house young. Like, I just, yeah. Why you were you you single mom situation? Yeah, pretty much. She was single, or she had you know boyfriends in and out, but not, nothing consistent. You know, so we. Just oh, the boyfriends are the worst, that. right? Yep. Yeah. They make yeah. you distrust men because they're always showing up. Hey, buddy. Hey, little buddy. Let's go play. I've got all these plans. We're gonna do so much together. And then they fucking have an argument, and that dude's out of the picture within a month or some shit. Yeah, yeah that's that that, that 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 can get confusing for a for a kid. Like, is there something wrong with me? Why, like, why, like, why are all these men leaving? Did I do something wrong? And then, of course, of course, the you know the the like the mother may take it out on, you know, may take it out on you, or you know, to you know the the you know the male the male child. It says, "Oh, you're f like it's 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 fucked up." It, Did you experience any of that, Kevin? Where your mom would blame you if a guy left? No, not not so much. Um, I ended up. Well, like early on, I had to hear what a piece of shit my dad was, and he was still kind of involved in my life. And then, at a certain point, I decided I didn't want to see him because, you know, it seemed like it was hurting my mom. And uh, and then later on, it just seemed like um, more like I got held responsible for stuff he did. Like once I grew into a man, like she, like would you know, like. You're just like your father. Were him, yeah. And people wonder, and people wonder why some men grow up to hate women. Gee, I wonder why. What the hell is Jill talking about in the side chat? I don't know. I stopped reading. Uh, yeah, I'm not even sure who he's talking to anymore. He's talking to uh, Udif. Oh, all right. I see. He was talking to someone like he knew him, but maybe they know each other. <laughs> I think, yeah, I believe so. Look at, look at it. That's a cry for help. Look at him. That is a cry for help. Someone noticed me. I'm very important. My name is Jill. Remember me. <laughs> Jill would have made a great dad. He would have been so focused on correcting that kid. That kid would have been. Traumatized into perfection. Well, that's a uh, that's a thing. It's about to strangle the truck driver. Let's listen. You worked on the line, asshole. <laughs> Yeah, just because you muted yourself doesn't mean that they can't hear us. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give them the old cavity search? Yeah, yeah, we got to do that. I always that's the terrorist I, attack. Yeah, I always offer it, even though it's not part of my job. I'm like, you want me to check any of the your cavities or no? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Let me know on your way out if you want me to check. Haven't had a single taker. Oh, these fucking guys out here. You haven't heard back from P-Town lately. What were you <laughs> expecting to hear back? Did you ask I don't him know. Something? <laughs> He's a... He's been waiting for my uh, for my conversion, you know. Oh goodness, I forgot. Yeah. Yes, yes. How's that going? Have you met up with the Lord? You know, I I, I haven't. I did not feel uh, compelled. I had some other things come up. So what some the? things that got in between you and the Lord. Yeah, yeah. It's just it didn't seem terribly important. So wait, you have to track him down. Is that how that works? The Almighty is not powerful enough to drop in a postcard or something? Hey, I heard you were looking for me. I'll be around in about a thousand years. See if you're still alive. 
Yeah, I thought he, I thought he was like called out to me. Um, I was actually I was thinking about it in the uh, you know. Anyway, I was, it, it it crossed my mind and it made me laugh, and that was about it. What you thought he called out to you? No, the, the, the fact that I was you know, I I was wondering like if it was going to happen or whatever. Like thinking like, hmm, you would have thought it would have happened by now. Oh, but you you were being open minded about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well that's good of you. Give it a shot. If you try to Ouija board, spammers on Twitch, I can't do anything about. That's funny. Was that a no to the Ouija board? <laughs> the Ouija board. <laughs> yeah. So if you had tried reaching out that way. I think, I think, yeah, I think I want to get one just to freak Silverwolf out. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> Watch, I'll end up actually having a spiritual experience. It'll be just my luck. Oh, that would be fantastic. <laughs> like even even evidence of of demons would be something, right? It would, you know, a haunted house, maybe a, a specter, an alien, something. Now, aliens, I'm hoping for. See, I'm familiar Love, yeah. with having like like something in my head that makes me think that that someone's guiding me. Like right, I, right. <laughs> but I I want I want to see some shit. Like I want to see. I mean, and I think I've seen some scary shit. But like, how much is in my head? Let me visibly see the things, like the ghosts, the specters, like pop up, do some, do some shit, where I can like invite it. That's what that's what I mean. Like with the Ouija board. Like if you're responding to me, that's a whole nother element to the supernatural, right? Right. I mean, there could be meta metaphysical forces that move about as mysterious as gravity, but just as real that are just, you know, they're, they're not guided or anything. They're not, um, there's no thought involved, but intentional like response to a question that shows a comprehension that first, that it's being addressed second, that there's, that there's subject matter that it understands and that it can respond that's fantastic like that that's a whole nother level so yeah i'll take a response on a ouija board as as evidence is there any but then there's like it's like the power of suggestions that they say like when it happens it's just like the it's um it's still something that's like it's like metacognition or some shit like that so, so if you take your hands off the little little triangle thing and it keeps going like it just on its own, I'd be like, yes. Well, no, I'm yeah, not that would that. have to That's be not my mind. Wait, else. I think I think there's a reason for that. Rationality rules actually made a video about that years ago, explaining explaining what happens. I it, I I could go find it, but it's... okay, hold on, hold on. At any point in that video, did they mention taking your hands completely off the guide and letting it just move around on its own? Because that's what I just said. That I don't remember. It's been right. Five years, I think I've seen that video. Probably so the longer. reason that people are afraid to use Ouija boards is that thing I just said. You'd invite a demon. You'd allow it to come into your house. Well, shit. Yeah, you know At what? least then now, I can experiment with the supernatural and, and have a better chance of believing in a god since I'll need him to get rid of the demon, right? Now I have to find that video. I'd be willing to be... I'd be willing to get haunted or oppressed or possessed or whatever. If if it was clarity about how the spiritual world works, they could run tests on me. Well, I found the video and it's six years old. If you if you wanna, it's like ten minutes and nine seconds. If you wanna, want me to share it? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay. Okay. Firewell. Wait, Will's leaving? Oh, come on. Oh, well. Yeah, he dropped. 
he can he you know he he he, he can watch it from the side chat I guess. All right here we go. Can you see? I guess it's yes. The scariest Ouija board ever. Evil spirit. Yes, you know that it's true because it's in all caps. That's the law of caps, people. I've seen it in my own comment section. 13.5 million views. Holy crap. That's over 25 times more views than all of my videos put together. All around me are familiar faces. Is there any spirits that would like to contact us? Maja, we are trying to contact you. Can you get in contact with us again right now? We just looked you up on the internet. Did you have a sibling that got killed as well? Did your mother kill herself? Is this picture on this phone, is that you? G. T. G. Gotta go. Oh, wait. All right, all right, we no. rolled the lights turned off when it said gotta go. That's not okay. Okay, this video can't be taken seriously because it's obviously a clickbait channel that entertains kids and sells merchandise. But it does raise an interesting question. Is the Ouija board really a means of contacting the dead? No. No, it's not. This is the Ouija or Ouija board debunked. Want a satisfying remote-friendly job that pays well? Get into tech quickly with Triple Ten. We're not like other boot camps. We're better, so much better. Our employment numbers are the highest in the industry. QA engineering, 87%. Software engineering, 89%. BI analytics, 87%. Data science, 86%. We guarantee you'll get hired within six months of graduation or we'll refund your tuition. Sorry about the ad. In 1891, the American lawyer and inventor Elijah Bond began advertising his Ouija, the wonderful talking board, describing it as a magical device that answers questions about the past, present and future with marvellous accuracy, and asserted that it was a link between the known and the unknown, the material and the immaterial. Since then, and particularly since World War I, it's been viewed predominantly as a means of contacting spirits, and if you're unlucky, violent demons that want to possess you. In fact, countless Christian authorities sternly warn against its use because of this reason. For example, BibleKnowledge.com asserts that even just one time with this dynamic device could break your protective hedge with the Lord and allow a demon to come after you. BibleInfo.com asserts that Ouija boards, seances, the occult, and witchcraft are all tools that fallen angels, also known as demons, try to use to deceive you. And not just do they aim to deceive but it's not uncommon for these practices to lead to demon harassment and or possession. And Premier Christianity states that, if you have a Ouija board, I think the only serious question you face is this, where am I going to burn it? Which, incidentally, is what I say to those who own a Bible. But jokes aside, that being the Bible, let's back up a bit and ask, what exactly is the Ouija board and how exactly does one use it? Well, one doesn't use it. It has to be two or more, and this fact alone is very telling. But we'll get to that in just a second. Put simply, it's a board game that consists of a board and a planchette, which is basically a flat object supported by caster wheels. The board is marked with the letters of the alphabet, the numbers 0 to 9, the words yes and no, and occasionally the words hello and goodbye. And participants play the game by placing two of their fingers on the planchette, asking direct questions, and then watching the planchet seemingly move on its own to answer your questions. And the central claim of the Ouija board is that the movement is caused by spirits. Sounds pretty creepy, right? Well, it is. It can be terrifying. But like many terrifying things, it's only so until you understand it. And so let's dive straight into it and ask the real question, and likely the reason you've clicked on this video in the first place. How and why does the planchet move? If it's not spirits or demons, what is it? The answer is unsatisfyingly simple. It's due to a psychological phenomenon known as the idiomotor effect, 
wherein the influence of suggestion and expectation causes people to subconsciously perform motor action. Or, to put it as bluntly as possible, it's due to the participants unconsciously moving the planchet themselves without realising it. It's a very strange phenomenon, fascinating even, but make no mistake about it. It's natural and it's thoroughly understood by science, and there are many ways of proving that it's responsible for the movement. For example... Do you have any comments so far? Kev. Yeah. Shit there. No, I'm unmuted. Um, yeah. So I had the wrong word, but that's what I was trying to think of that whole like subconscious thing. The metacognition is something else. I was like, anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's get back to watching it. One such way is to take believers who have just experienced a Ouija board, telling them personal and accurate information, blindfolding them and then asking the spirits the same questions, as demonstrated here by the TV show, Brain Games. Spirits, can you speak to us? Are you there? Right there. So as you can see, once participants are blindfolded, and this is especially the case when the board is also rotated 90 degrees, the spirits fail to communicate. And thus, this demonstrates the idiomotor effect. There are no spirits Yes, there involved. are. That was right. No, yeah. no. But I definitely felt strong movement on the board. What do you think? I am a believer. Regardless of the science, I believe even more now in the Ouija board. This is what's wrong with the world. <laughs> Regardless of the science, I believe more now in the Ouija <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't be laughing at this woman's beliefs, but it's just. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like, a, what's that, you know, like self affirming or whatever, you know? Like... Yeah. yeah. People being impervious to new information and facts isn't a strength, it's retarded, and it reeks of our lowly origin. Now, some psychics have responded to the blindfold experiment by asserting that the spirits need our eyes in order to use the board, which, of course, is an ad hoc cop-out that attempts to render the assertion unfalsifiable. But luckily, there are many other ways to prove that the idiom motor effect is responsible without blindfolding participants. To name but one more example, and my personal favourite, in 1853, the English scientist Michael Faraday demonstrated the idiomotor effect by simply stacking several pieces of cardboard on top of the plancher. His reasoning was that if the spirits were truly moving the plancher, that is, if the assertion that the planchet's movement is caused by spirits is true, then the layers of card would be dragged behind the direction of movement like this. But if the movement was coming from the participants, that is, if the idiomotor effect was responsible, then the layers of card would initiate the direction of movement, like this. And as it turns out, it's the latter. The idiomotor effect is responsible. Now, once again, many psychics have responded to this experiment by changing their central claim from, the spirits move the plant chair, to, the spirits cause the participants to move the plant chair. Which, again, is more ad hoc crap. But skeptics have nevertheless responded to this nonsense in numerous ways. One way, which I personally find quite hilarious, is to take believers in the Ouija board to an abandoned house and tell them completely fabricated stories about who died within the building and how, and then watch the participants somehow contact these made up figures, as is demonstrated within this clip from the TV show Science of Scams. To create this kit, we invited a group of girls to take part in a tour of a haunted house. This is Richard, who was playing the part of the guide. Richard made up a haunted history of the building, which he told to the girls as he showed them around. By the time the girls were ready for the Ouija board, they were convinced that the property was haunted and were expecting something to happen. This expectation helps their subconscious generate the movement. Uh, 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 
weird, huh? It's almost like suggestibility is the cause, isn't it? Now, yet again, psychics have responded to such experiments by asserting that once we try to test the spirits, the spirits deliberately start messing with us, such as pretending that they are the made-up spirits we've just been told about. Sorry, I, I had to I, I, I had I had to pause that uh, to face palm. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Which is a pathetic ad hoc response, deserving nothing more than ridicule. These people are simply playing hide the ball, doing whatever they can to make their belief unfalsifiable and thus impossible to prove false. They're not interested in truth, they're enemies of it. Anyhow. To recap, many Ouija board experiences occur simply because the medium or one or more of the participants are deliberately moving the planchette, as was the case with the video in the intro, while other Ouija board experiences are the result of the idiomotor effect, which in short is the subconscious power of suggestion, expectation, confirmation bias and personal experience. The unfortunate truth is that once someone has established a certain belief, which in this case is that the Ouija board is essentially a telephone between the living and the dead. They tend to favour evidence that confirms their beliefs and provides them with a comforting conclusion to an emotionally charged experience. Don't get me wrong, these people aren't impervious to evidence, but when evidence is presented that crushes their beliefs and their reaction is this. Regardless of the science, I believe even more now in the Ouija board. Then I don't know what to recommend. It's unfortunate, but we simply didn't evolve to be rational beings, and statements such as this embody this fact. Anyhow, I'm going to give away this Ouija board to one lucky subscriber, and so if you'd like to stand a chance of winning it, then just include the word Ouija within a comment on this video, and I'll announce the winner within my next one. As always, thank you kindly for the view, and an extra special thank you to my wonderful patrons. I just want to sincerely thank you all again for making my dream a So, what do you think, Jack? Yep, power of suggestion. Yep. We're going to have to send out a text here. Oh, I'm tired. That's what it is hour and a half, well, hour and 45 minutes left to go. My, my thing over here. By the way, Jill, if you're still here, Tupac, t Tupac is not an idiot. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the, I <laughs> went to go check on Waldhart, right? So he, he's playing uh, Tupac Changes. He's, I think, he's, yeah. I think, with that now. No, never mind. He's doing something else. But he had he had two buck changes before. And I noticed in the side chat, Wildheart, now you're listening to this idiot Tupac. Wildheart, did you play my song yet? Beans and Bellone Baloney. Yeah, 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 Baloney. Like yeah. Beans and Baloney. <laughs> Tupac is not an idiot. Okay, he's yeah, certainly smarter than uh he's certainly smarter than Jill. Oh yeah, that's 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 something. Did you see that guy who was in here earlier? I think you know, maybe that was why you were over at Wilds over there or something. No, I don't. <laughs> some some guy tried to come in here and give me the battle rap with him. <laughs> okay, Pretty sure well, that was like part of. <laughs> I have to clip that shit. I was like, "What's going on here?" He's like calling me a dumb cunt in the private chat and shit too. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that 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 definitely works. That definitely works. They're calling you a dumb cunt will definitely uh yeah you 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 will definitely like the guy after that. I'm being sarcastic, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How you doing, Joe? 
Hey, how's it going? Oh no, he's here. Nobody oh, mind um, me. The guy you were just talking about for four hours is here. So who's who's smarter than me? Who has a PhD? We, we were talking about you the whole time. <laughs> Midnight, who who has your PhD? You said someone was smarter than Joe. So yeah, who has, their, who has their PhD? I don't know if he's got a PhD, but he he well, learned a lot. He's not smarter than Joe. Dude, the motherfucker, the mother. If you let me talk for a second, can you do that, Jill? I'm expecting an answer. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, who's smarter than Joe? Go ahead. Tupac. Tupac is smarter than you. Okay. No, and not. having. No, he wasn't. Okay. Well, I'm not talking. If you're gonna, if you're gonna interrupt. Go ahead. Yeah. Nope. I just responded saying no, he's not. I didn't try to start. You didn't a let me. You didn't let me finish. Okay, go ahead. I, I, I just, I, that wasn't even a conversation. I just said, no, he's not. Go ahead. Tell us how. But you didn't let me explain how he's smarter okay, than you. Go, go ahead. I, I, I'm already going to say he's not, even before you explain. Go ahead. Okay, then what's the point of explaining? Let's see if you can convince me otherwise. Go ahead. Well, it's... <laughs> If you say he's not right out of the gate before I explain, how can how can I convince you otherwise? Because based on the evidence that I've seen, I would say no. But let's see. Maybe you have some new evidence, some new information that might change my mind. Go ahead. Okay. Man's dead at 26. Go ahead. Tell me how he's better, smarter than Joe. Side Go check and vote. Who's smarter? Press a one for Jill or two for Tupac. <laughs> I'm alive at in my 40s, going on my 50s. He's dead. Tell me how he's smarter than me. Go ahead. Nah, I'd rather not. Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'd rather not because you won't let me get a word. You won't let me get a word I, I, right I before saying. Hey. Ape Look, as my Kevin. witness. I said, go ahead. And he said, oh, no, I don't want to talk. I don't want Kevin, to do it. Kevin, okay, you're the witness here. Okay? Go ahead. You're the go ahead. Here. I'll mute. I've tried to explain, but as soon as I get a word out, he says, no, no, he's not. Am I going crazy, go or is that not what he's doing? Go ahead. Go ahead, my guy. Go ahead. I'll yeah, mute. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much the, the, the gist of it, yeah. Go ahead. I'll mute it. Now, you're not going to say anything for five seconds, and then I'm going to speak so there's no dead air on Ape's channel. And then you're going to say, oh, you didn't let me speak. You didn't. You keep cutting me. Go ahead. Tell us how to yeah, pop. Yeah. It's smarter than Jill. Go ahead. Are you going to mute? Because I, cause I, cause I, cause I don't see the uh, mute button on you. Or like the, the mute icon. I have a mute button in my hand. I can mute myself without clicking. The one on StreamYards. Go ahead. What are you stuck? What are you filibustering for? Go ahead. You know what? I'm not. not I'm not in the fucking mood to talk to you. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he wins. Oh, Jill God. wins. Apes Jill, are so Jill predictable. Wins. Apes are so predictable, aren't they? Ape man. <laughs> no, Tupac is not smarter than Jill. In fact, at twenty. Are you scared? Are you scared about what I have no, to say? No, 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 no. You didn't no, have I'm anything dying. to say, sir. I gave you time to speak. Nothing. Now it's my turn. No, no, you no, didn't no. have Fuck anything you. to this say. Don't start speaking now over me. I, I, I want to talk. I Go ahead. I'll mute. I'll mute <laughs> again and listen to you say nothing. You're because doing... nothing, everything that comes out of your mouth, liberal. All right. All right. I'm not even a fucking yeah. liberal. Yeah. Stop saying, stop calling people liberals. I'm muted. Now, as soon as I wanted to give my take, now he wants to overtalk me. When I gave him an opportunity, he says, oh, no, I don't even feel like it. I'm tired. Go ahead. I'll mute again. Tell us how Tupac is smarter than Jill, and then I'll tell you how he's not. Go ahead. Okay. First of all, him dying we at 26 has nothing. Okay, let me try it again. First of all, him 
Tell us how he's smarter than Jill. Don't tell me how <laughs> I said doesn't correspond. To All him. right. We, we, we know the fucking question. Tell us how he's smarter than Jill. Go ahead. First of all, him dying at 26 had nothing to has nothing to do with how he's whether or not he's smarter than Jill. Okay, so tell us now how he is smarter than Jill. Go ahead. Why are you so offended by this? Uh, okay. Why are you speaking nothing? Because that's who you are. All of your oh, ideas. Believe me, I know. I know I'm nothing. I, 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 all I, of I, your rather, ideas. I would rather be nothing than be you. A pile like that's like that's that's that's, that's, that's how much I love being shit. nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, cool, whatever. <laughs> because that's what you are. I know, and I love it. I I, I so love I love us, being a piece of shit. Now, now, I love being nothing. Did, I love being treated like shit just for being a. You know, now, never mind. Since I'm, you I'm, can't I'm tell to, us. I'm going to uh, hold on this. Since you can't tell us how he's smarter than two, how Tupac is smarter than Jill. I t I'll tell you how he's not. Are okay, you ready? Okay. That means, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Give us your wisdom, here's, you fucking idiots. Here's one one way I would compare his life to my life. When I was 26, when he died, I was preparing to be married. Good not, for you, buddy. Not preparing. You got, first of all, first of not all, not preparing well, for my first funeral. Of all, he got, first of all, he was assassinated. Okay, he was, he was assassinated. assassinated. <laughs> yeah, he was assassinated. We still don't know by who, by the way. Maybe Suge Knight has something to do with it. I don't know. I haven't looked. I haven't looked into it again. Whether they actually no, they have a suspect. Just come the guy. Was, or the guy confessed or something. Well, if that's if they did, that's no. great. They missed him salt. But he was assassinated at twenty six. He didn't just die out of fucking nowhere. Like you know, he just died out of nowhere. Twenty five years old. Dude, not. You know, he was assassinated. Hanging with with Suge Knight, a gangster. Yeah, I he was, was hanging out. He was I hanging was, out with I, Suge Knight. I was putting a down payment on my first home. Good for you. Everybody, everybody's life is Tupac different. was hanging out with a thug, and got caught up in thug life. In a drive it doesn't. It doesn't. That doesn't. It doesn't make it. <clears throat> How is he better that than... That doesn't... You know what? You know what? How is he why, smarter than again, Jill? Why are you getting so at offended by this? At 25, I was, apply, I was enrolling into, in grad school to earn my master's That's for degree you. in special Good education. For you. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy for you. Good for and, you. And you, my you, and him, you and him have different life experiences. In, in, okay, so okay. you have shit to say... When I asked you how he was better than Jill, and now when I'm telling you how I'm better than you him, you sound so insecure. Oh, honestly, you sound so insecure because, because, because I said something. Now you want to talk? I said over something. Me. You said something. Now you want to uh, talk over me? You didn't have. Why are you so shit. insecure? I think you're projecting here, buddy. I you think you're actually projecting. Shit to say. As they I, you do have shit to say. You just don't want to hear it. When it was now, it's my no. I did want to hear. I paused. I <laughs> muted myself, and you concluded <laughs> that. Oh, well, I don't feel like it today. Now it's my turn to discuss. You know, I, you, you, I think you know I, that I have a stuttering his, problem, age, and I try to say something, and I and I, and, and, and I have the slightest. That I feel like there's a slightest okay, interruption. Wait. I pause. Okay, I just make say, sure. I won't say that I'm better than the man, but I will say that I made better decisions. That's certain. I'll never say that I'm actually better than anyone. The motherfucker made better decisions after prison. Okay, okay. like he went, he, like he went to prison for like. After. He do, died you know at twenty-five. What, you, sir. Good for you. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know why Tupac is still loved after so many fucking years? It's you know, it's because that you, you know, yes, like while he was younger. He was a thug. He, you know, he did. I, I, I don't know the man's life story. All I know is that after he went to jail, the man completely fucking changed after he came out. He was a better person. <laughs> I, you laugh, but you know, laugh because that's how he was. Yeah, he was a better person. Why did he go to jail? I don't fucking remember. I don't. Like I said, I don't okay. know the man's life I've story. I've never been to jail. 
good for you. Are you? Are you? Okay. Are you? Are you, are you, so, are you? Are you saying? Are you saying you're so better? I'm better, you're better than... So I'm better than Tupac. No, you're not. Well, you don't have a, see the problem with you, liberal, is you really don't have a. Standard. I am not. I am okay, not a sir. fucking liberal. Stop saying matter. that. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. No, no, you, I am no, not listen, a liberal. Listen. I am not a problem. liberal, Mr. Here's Trump problem, man. Atheist. I am not a liberal. I'm an atheist, yes, but I'm not a liberal. Like, hey, Liberals. why the why the fuck are you getting hit? Why the fuck Here's did you the let this asshole on here? He got so offended you that he said Tupac was better than You do not have judge. a standard of judgment. Order. Order. Oh, I don't have a baseline. standard of judgment. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you I don't have a standard of judgment. You will move the goalpost. You will shift the goalpost when it's a Christian uh, it's a that's involved in the comparison or the analysis. You are a dishonest <laughs> atheist. That's why you can sit up there and say Tupac is smarter than Jill, but not have any criteria. He's so that offended. You're He's it so on. offended. It's so you're not crazy. basing it on any love criteria. It. I love it. But one, which I is love your it. Feelings, He's so offended. Which is your feeling? No, this like, is this is this is good. No, no, you are it's, you it's are actually, you are offended. You it's are actually offended. It's a, funny. No, no, no. I'm not offended. I'm just excited. Yes, you are. That well, this is this oppor <laughs> this opportunity that I have Abe, to show and demonstrate the utter bankruptcy <laughs> of the if atheist morality. Your morality is utterly bankrupt. That's oh well, why you can't make decisions like whether or not Jill is smarter than Tupac. You can't. <laughs> why make are you still offended? Rational, so lovely. You can't make <laughs> rational decisions. Objective morality is a joke in your religion, and this is bringing it out. This little comment brought that out and put it on full display. You're so adorable. You're so for adorable. Everyone to You're see. You're so adorable. The honestly, atheist. honestly, you are more honestly you are more fun to talk to than uh, you know the machine lies. I will give you that. That the guy was a fucking asshole. Quest for objective morality is a joke. That's why you get the morale. It doesn't exist, you fucking idiot. That's even if exactly. it did, hold on, until hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Until Let me explain. Exists. Let me explain something. <laughs> until you want to judge, can I hold on a, a Christian? Second. Even then if even objective if, morality exists, even if objective morality existed, it would still be subjected to God's whims. You fucking idiot. It would be subject. I would be better with God, who is consistent, than you, who make <laughs> decisions. Consistent. Yeah, like, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who make decisions? Very consistent. Let me tell like, you about who's smarter based on shit. <laughs> why is why are you so offended? <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> He's so offended. <laughs> you fucking yes. a lot smarter than Jill. How you dare made, you say that? You made How that decision. You? you made that decision based off of shit. Okay, and you well, it's want my me, decision to make up for shit. Trust like, what you, do you care? You went to uh, the polls and you made a decision based off of shit. You're that's so why triggered. we're in it. <laughs> trigger, trigger, that's, trigger. That's why now everyone's gone. That's why I can curse like this because there's no one, um, no one in the house. Um, so I'm wait, wait. So by your logic, but, though, like, you, like back there, you were you, like, if because Tupac went to jail, you're better than Tupac. Didn't Jesus go to jail? Jesus right? went to jail. Um, I think they. I I don't know if he went to jail. You thinking of John the Baptist? John the Baptist was uh, was prison. Jesus uh, Paul was imprisoned. Uh, Jesus okay. actually never went to jail, but he was tried and he was put to death. He didn't. I guess he was in the interim. He was in what you would call jail, but. Um, but but see this yeah. this brings this this exposes a larger problem in our society. We we had eight million or so people go to the polls and make a decision. I mean, I'm not, based I mean, I'm, off I'm of their bullying, I'm not, I'm based off of their objective yourself. morality, their subjective morality. They made a decision, and we are in a pile of shit because of it. You so, know, so you so your so your comment about Tupac being being uh, a smarter than Jill just leads credence to a bigger problem that you have. Why are you so offended? Like You cannot make moral claims and live a good moral life without believing in God. Yeah, well, you say, that. yeah, well, you and say that. There there. Are a lot of people. You cannot well, make yeah. good decisions. You cannot. Okay, okay. He, That's okay, what history Kevin, he has said shown he'll, us. End it, he'll end it there, but he keeps going. So you might want to <laughs> mute him a little bit. 
That's what history has shown us. The real issue is whether an atheist can provide a justification for their morality. If you cannot provide a justification for why Jill, why Tupac is smarter than Jill, or why Trump, what does that have to do with morality? Office, what, what it is, has I'm everything so, no, no, to do I'm with sorry. morality. I'm sorry. What it does me saying that Tupac is smarter than you have to do with morality? Be I just told you it lends to a greater issue in your understanding of the world. You cannot make a good decision. Based off of your feelings and your hatred for someone, the reason why you said I don't that even is hate, because I don't you even, hate Jill. No, you I don't even have a okay, moral hold on, hold justification. On. Kevin, would you mind muting this motherfucker we, for a second? We just Please. showed that Jill. I don't hate you. Okay, there are very few people on this planet <laughs> that I legitimately hate. And you are not one of them. I find you amusing. I find, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I find the discussions you have with people amusing. You're funny, okay? Like, it, you, you know, in, you know, in in your own way, you are smart in your own way. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got offended with me saying the two is smarter than you. And let's be honest here. The only reason Christians are afraid that the morality is subjective, subjective, is, you know, is you know, is you know, is, is because they have this straw man idea. That, it might not be a straw man; it might be something else. But you know, they have this idea that you know that literally anyone can change their mind, you know, and say, "I'm going to kill that person because I feel like it." But the disturbing thing is, is that they're just projecting because they would be the ones who actually change their mind and say, well, if morality is subjective, I'll go fucking kill people. Like, that is disturbing as fuck to me. Okay, because, because even if morality is objective, then, then, th then it can't be questioned. And if it can be questioned, then it cannot be changed. And if it can't be changed, then that I'm not done. Okay, go ahead. Keep ranting. You're just rambling on. Go ahead. You're not really I, saying anything, but go ahead. Are you done? He, well, here's clearly, how we you could, me of rambling. Here's how we could determine whether or not what you, your decision making is rational. I asked you for the criteria for the reasoning. You said you had none. Okay, so never said I what, had we're saying, said, what we're saying, what we're saying, you a chance to bring it up. I did give I you did a chance. You up. said you, you can, Ape is my witness. You said, well, I don't feel like discussing it. Okay, so the problem is, is that yeah, because really. you can't justify your morality, you're, you're, this you're just Kevin's making channel. it, Let you're making talk. it subjective. Kevin, you want to say something? Go ahead. This is your channel. You're God here. Jill isn't. You can't justify yeah, well, any of your decisions. He's discussing it. Now, so that's why that's the you know gave you the opportunity to respond. So ape is my witness. Ape is my witness. You made a decision about someone or something based on nothing. Because okay. there's no why foundation. Are so, why, are so why are you so butthurt? Because it because it brings out a problem. There's it's no not. foundation for foundation what you is think larger. is right is wrong. Okay, that's, that's, I have. I mean, no I may not have any foundation for what I said, but okay, so I, don't have, I don't have a foundation. Why should for we trust literally. anything you say then? Then don't don't trust why, me. Okay, why just, we just, trust ignore, just ignore. Just ignore. Just ignore. Why should what we trust anything your PhD say? Why should we trust anything your PhD say? See, 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 hold on, Kevin. See, this isn't an issue with me, Chill. You have an issue with literally everybody, but you're taking it out on me because, hey, midnight, you know, you know, midnight is an easy target for bullying. <laughs> yes, you are an easy target. But you, you, see, you do, are you, a you, micro, you, do, uh, you are a microcosm, a small sample of a bigger problem. Okay, well, sure. then go somewhere. You're not else, in politics. Then. Thank God go you have no power. Thank, I, thank God you have no ability to lock someone up. Otherwise, you would, just like your leaders are doing in D.C. right now as we speak. Oh, my God. Are you? Uh, dude, thank I, I, God I you do not have any authority anywhere.
Thank God you don't have any authority because either, you're an Judge. Atheist. That would be a nightmare. So what and if your I'm an morality stinks? Okay. Good for you, buddy. <laughs> Good for you. I don't give a shit what you think about like, my morality. Your, morality, just, your decision that's making just like skills. That's like your opinion, man. Yeah. Your decision making skills come directly from your morality. You, uh, uh, you, uh, what is the saying? I can't think of the saying, but ideas have consequences. You don't even know. You don't ideas even know my have morality. Consequences. You, you're, you're, you are assuming my morality because I'm an atheist. I'm, that, I'm giving that, you a that scenario. I'm giving you a scenario and telling you what you would do. Pick A or B, the red pill or the blue pill. You always choose the blue pill, and it's never based on any rationale. That is funny. That 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 it, that it's is never funny based on you, any rationale that you can you. defend. Well, hold on. We can Jill, defend Jill, our morality. Truly, hold we on. can defend our decision if you truly, making. Because we have a foundation. Right. Good for you. You have the a foundation. But that foundation What's is your built foundation? On My feelings. Uh, I don't. F I feel this type of way about Jill, so I'm just going to. Why say are you projecting? Do this. Oh my fucking god! You are so triggered. I, I'm I only said that Tupac, Tupac is smarter than you, smarter and you get so Jill. fucking triggered. So fucking what? There are many yeah, people who are smarter than me. Kevin is smarter than me. Well, William is, is smarter, smarter than, than me. Can you, you say Jill is smarter I than you? <laughs> this is what it's about, isn't it? You're fucking. Oh. You're, saying, you're saying. No, 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 hang on. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Can you say. Wrong. Now, this is about let's his do feelings. This. Let's but do this. Just about my yeah, feelings. I, I think that let's, is let's the, the issue to have. Is Jill smarter than you? <laughs> Unfortunately. You don't want to make you happy, yes. Right now, we do talk to that alive for us to like, administer an IQ test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jill, Jill is so. smarter than you. You are Jill. jealous of Jill. Jill. No, I, I wouldn't go that far. Okay, but if okay. you if you need it, you know, if if you need this to if you need this to bring you happiness in life, then yes, you are smarter than me. Okay, you, you, now go forth. You know, they, they, now go forth and live the best life you can. Okay, you finally made a rational decision, mate. Uh, you finally made a <laughs> rational decision. See, that's my morality. That's choice. Okay. Uh, no, that's because my morality. You, now, it, had I not been here, you would have lied and said that you were smarter than me, but. But I'm a dumbass. Is, Fuck you. I would never say I'm smarter the, than you. The problem right, is with your, with your worldview, since oh, our worldview world world says view. our worldview says your education has nothing to do with the fact, with the fact of, of the, the matter. Your yeah, worldview but, says on, it on, does. On, on. But why your worldview why says it does? Up, why did you bring up your PhD, which I highly doubt? Because I'm I'm, I'm 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 borrowing from your worldview. I admit I'm borrowing from your worldview. In your worldview, the number of degrees determines how smart no, you does. are. No, no, yes, it, it does. doesn't. See, hold on, yes, hold it on. does. Why no, not to me. Like not to me. me. Yes, it does. Exactly. Whenever someone makes yeah. a claim, whenever someone because I'm going based off of the consensus. But when someone yeah, but makes you a ask claim, me what whenever I think someone the consensus. Well, that's because you're not really important. When someone makes a decision, oh. when someone makes a decision, <laughs> am I right, Ape? Ape, am I right about this? If someone were to come up with an idea in your uh. <laughs> like, uh. I, I, why did you kick him out? It was so funny. It's just like he comes in here and right, all fucking back, triggered in butthole. He's just like, oh, triggered in butthole. I said, Jill is smart. So I was Freudian slip there. Two buckets smarter than Jill, and he's like, "How dare you say that? I am a PhD." He got a, he got killed at twenty five. He went to jail. I was so, I was putting a down payment on a house. Piece of shit. Like, fuck. What the fuck? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> I'm not even mad. I'm just laughing my ass off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting fucking annoying. Oh. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I'm bored. Yeah, sorry. About <laughs> I, I don't know if it was that my internet that went out or what. Just that's fine, dude. That's okay. that's what was where was I? Um yeah. Assuming okay. my worldview. So yes, so I, I stepped into I did an internal critique. I stepped into your worldview. And in your worldview, uh, if someone is is an expert on in a certain field, they are smarter. It's in that field if they have the credentials to back it up. You would trust them and what they say as authentic 
over someone else who doesn't have the, the same. You want to know? You want to? You want? True or false? You, <clears throat> well, let me answer you if you want. If you want the answer, yeah. Okay. It is. It it is. It is true that having a degree in a certain field does make you better equipped to talk about that field. However, however, just be, just just because somebody has a degree doesn't mean they're smart in other areas, right? I've seen many PhDs act like complete fucking morons outside of their field, and sometimes even in the, let me talk, and sometimes even in their field they're fucking stupid. Okay, so okay. it depends on the person. Right, experts. Experts do not. The experts in the same field do not even agree with each other. So, trusting, okay. trust the trusting PhDs or trusting the authorities or whatever, it's a catch twenty two. If I'm using the right thing, it it's really hard. You know, the, the average mm -hmm. person just can't fucking do it. Right, then you know, and then and then and then you have the ones who actually look into something, and even they're like, okay, well, what is true here? Right, you know, expert X is saying Y. No, hold on. Expert X is saying A. You know, X, Y, and Z. So sorry, expert A is saying X, Y, and Z, and then expert B is saying A, B, C. I I read the letters, but X, Y, Z. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. They they disagree, have disagreements, um, but you would still put the word of someone who had the expertise over someone who doesn't like a psychologist you would not trust an armchair psychologist over someone who actually went to school and learned about psychology i mean so it depends it depends you would, the, you would the, prioritize the, the, who you would listen to well, based on their educational on. background well for in me a certain area. well for me for me it depends if the if the if the armchair psychologist is actually doing a better job than an actual psychologist because at, at least at how least do you determine that well, can I talk really, really simply? How do you determine whether or not they're doing a better job? Go ahead. For me personally, I have had better luck with talking to friends that you, you know, talking to friends that I that, that I've been close to than actual therapists who were trained. Because yes, therapists or psychologists are trained in psychology, but many of them just you know, many of them just lack. Lack, lack that compassion. This. Compassion. Thank you. They, they lack that compassion. You know, they like, they lack that, that you well, know, that air about them. You're not friends with them. That's why. That 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 has nothing to do with their expertise. You're just not. And that's well, and that's and that's what I'm saying. Like, you, you, just you, okay. just because they are educated in psychology doesn't mean they can do psychology well. But, you know, whereas somebody who isn't trained in psychology may you know may still have life experiences which still which still may help someone. Like I've, you know, I've, like I, you know, I've been talking to this friend of mine for like over three, like over three years at this point. Actually, two years. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, and I, and my nickname for him on Discord is therapist because he's done such a good job. <laughs> in your opinion. <laughs> well, in my opinion, he's helped me a lot. Well, it still okay, comes so. back to you. It still all comes back to you and how you feel. That's the point I was making. There's no basis. For what is good, chill. what is bad, chill. it all comes back to midnight and how Humans. midnight feels. Jill, Jill, Jill. I Human. feel the psychologist is better for me. Okay, Jill. Armchair psychologist. All humans. All... It makes me feel. You might. Better. You might. You might. See? Yeah. Well, I didn't cut you off. Why did you? Why did you just cut me off while I was trying to respond to you? The whole time, I didn't cut you off one time when you were speaking. Okay, well, and I apologize for that, but what I'm trying to yeah. say is that literally all humans go by feeling. Okay, mm. hold on, hold I on. Disagree with that, but go ahead. Well, well okay, but, 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 but then you disagree with being human. Like, no, no, I actually don't. No, I think rationale plays a huge part in our. I mean, it can. Right, eight man. Well, hold on. Our, you know, our, our. Our yeah. minds did not evolve to be rational, as the as the video I played clearly showed. Well, sorry that you know that the ape shared, you know, we, you know about, about the Ouija board. All right, humans well, did, were not, did not so born. Trying to, they were not atheists. The people, the people who believe, the people who believe they're, in the Ouija board were not atheists. They're they're atheists. Trust me, they're secularists, spiritualists, trying to seek. Some sort of. How do you know influence. this? Do you do you have mind reading powers through video? I can like, tell. I don't get you. 
I can tell. Christians wouldn't be playing with Ouija boards. Ouija board spells death. <laughs> How do you know? Because oh, the Ouija my board God. spells death. That's why. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> why am I still here? I must, I must be punishing Christian. myself for not being Christian able to help Paul Hart. I guess, so, I guess, I guess I'm a masochist. So we've come full circle, and we've seen that while Hart's making his rash, his decisions, which he thinks are rational, based on his feelings. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Even yeah, when it okay. comes to science, and Christians do that too. Even when it comes Literally to science, all humans do. You like, make your like decision. Based off of feelings. Literally everyone does that. No, no, literally everyone. Yes, literally does everyone do that. does that. Yes, I don't that, do that. that is how. Well, the now is the now is just it's not just a river in Egypt, buddy. I'm a man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you're a man. Okay, that's that. That's I great. don't make that's, my uh, decisions. You can ask my family. I don't make my decisions based off of my feelings. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's how we. That's how we. How do you not? Over and now. How do you not understand that emotion? Making a decision. How do you not? How do you not understand that he, you know, that rationality and emotions are integral parts of you know, like the of the of of the human mind. Okay. Okay. Tell both them the you know, both of making. them. Tell him the mistake he's making. Whether or not they're a part of our minds, does it mean they have to lead us in our decision making? Oh my fucking god! You just don't I, get it, and I started explaining things. I can have a thought about stealing from the grocery store. That doesn't lead me or or make me determine. Yeah, but you do. You do. Way you do realize that a feeling. Store. You do realize that a feeling actually generated that thought, right? You may have thoughts, not, yes, but those thoughts, those, those not, thoughts may... I'm not denying the feelings. You're not listening. I'm not denying the feelings. What I'm saying is they should have no part or very little part in your decision making. You are a man. Can someone, a can, can, someone, can someone else come up here and explain this shit? Because you are not I, a woman, okay? You are a man. God took that part of you I out. I know I am a... Listen, listen, in the garden, God took that part of you out and made the woman. That's why the woman is 100% emotional. You do realize that rib was the emotion. You do realize that biologically, <laughs> you do realize that biologically, you know, like men are just defective women, right? Oh, God. Here we go again. No, no, no. I'm men not, are, I like, I'm not. Yeah, yes, I agree. Men, but it's not a defect. He took that defect out of you and made the woman. Well, I use I use defect just as kind of a kind but, of a tongue in cheek thing, but the rib that Adam was removed from Adam, that was the emotional rib. So you should be thinking with rationale, not emotion. The woman, on the other hand, who is your counterpart, he took that part out of you just to just to make just to to, to tie you to it again for life. Right, that's just the God's humor, right? So he took that part out of you and made the woman, and the woman becomes that part that and you two are to come together. Yeah, that's why, together. that's why that's why that's that that's why so, you know, that's why we get you know, we we get our mitochondria from the woman's side. Oh, now we're trying to get into now. I'm talking about the spiritual aspect, okay? I'm not talking about I don't know how God did it scientifically. I can't explain <laughs> that. But that part of you. That voted for Biden should be. I did not vote year. for anybody. Should be in your kitchen, baking cakes, and you're supposed to say, hey, "You know what, honey? I don't think this would be a good how idea." Are you married? I genuinely want to know right. how you're fucking and married with where you say, talk about women. Now, now this isn't my wife. My wife, my wife wouldn't. My wife wouldn't dare. But but some wives they'll say things. Like, well, Joe, he's such a nice guy. He's he's an old nice. He's like uncle. He's like, you know, Grandpa Joe. And, you know, they're emotional. And, and I'll say, you know, honey, now this isn't my wife. I'm just saying for you who were stuck, you know, who didn't didn't do a good, good job in investigating whether or not your wife was a woman of God or not. Um, so you're stuck with it. So this is how you deal with it. You say, you know, honey, uh, you, why don't we just take a look at, you know, what happened under the four years of Trump compared to what happened under the four years of Biden? And you know, let, let's think about this. See, see, you're supposed to be the the, the peace, 
of the puzzle that is thinking with rationale and not emotion because you're the man you're the leader yeah and that's why and that's and that you know, and that's why that's why men you know men men do need men do need to build need to, need to build themselves because there are many there are many men out there who are emotional right they're still men obviously but they're emotional over 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 time they need to build themselves up because you know because an emotional man is a dangerous man not only to himself but to others that you know that 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 is you know that is that is why that is why a lot of people like a lot of a lot of people have an issue with like you know all the all these men who can't always control their emotion their emotions right now you know now now the upside of that the upside of that is that we have femboys <laughs> or you know twinks or whatever for you know for the gay community uh, the plus. <laughs> I'm not comfortable right now after you laughing that giggle after you said femboys. I'm really not comfortable with this conversation. Okay, first of hey, all, bro, femboys, hey, bro, hold on. Hold on. Stop. <laughs> why are you focusing on why, why are you hey, bro, focusing on the word? I'm not comfortable talking to you anymore. I'm a school, I'm a school teacher. I can't I, I'm sorry. I, I oh my god. So the term what did he say? What did he say? I'll, I'll lose my license. I'll, what I'll did he say? Every, uh, he said, said femboy. He, 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 he started giggling. Liberal. Uh, he started no. giggling, yeah. like you know, something. I just, uh, you know, I just want to you say know what? Thing. Go ahead, bro, Joe. I'm <laughs> done. Uh, thank you. Okay. That um, giggle was kind of weird. It was kind of creepy. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> shut up, Jill. Well, Jill, Jill, you think um, we only need we need faith or a faith in God to determine what is right and wrong? No, no, no. Atheists borrow from Christian. No, morality. I'm asking you yes or no. Do I, is is no. faith in God required I, to determine what is right or wrong? No, of course not. Oh, okay. Because it sounds like that's what you were saying earlier. Because to no, your point, no. yeah, can, I mean, I, can I can I help yeah. you out then? No, what no, I said I, is that there is no baseline. I start out by saying there's no baseline. You could also say there is no um, other than inklings and feelings. There's nothing that grounds the atheist objective morality, meaning this is right, this objective. is wrong. That's objective. Oh, yeah, well, right. that's where you're throwing in there objective morality. Yeah, yeah right. So he's right, saying right, they have right, a different right. objective. Right versus wrong is what we mean. Do you have a special I mean, objective morality? A special morality? No, my my morality, no, my morality is grounded in one thing. So it doesn't change based off it? how I feel. God. I just want—I just want to say my piece yeah. here. I, I think you can determine, you can come, uh, in within reason, using reason and rationale, you can determine what is good or what is bad, and it doesn't have to be—it doesn't have to be objective. How is he defining objective and subjective at this I moment personally. for this conversation? Words when you hard. say when you say something is right or wrong. You are saying objectively that it is wrong. You're not saying, well, no. I, I feel as though it, this it is depends wrong. on the information I, you're talking about. Or this is my opinion. You're saying it that it's it depends on wrong. the information you're talking about, Joe. It, it depends on the context. This is it's if, not if, always if you weigh wrong something. If if you weigh something and say this, you know, this this weighs this amount, that's objectively true, right? You could put it on the scale and see that. If you give You're your opinion about, right about something, wrong. that's subjective. Is raping yeah, children yeah. right or wrong? I would why say are you going question. there? Holy shit. Well, why why would it ever be illegal? right? Okay. It Thank would you. never be right. Thank you. So you wait, just wait, wait, made wait, 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 an wait, wait, objective, you just you just pod deposited an objective moral position. Let her tell you right why. Let her tell you we why. Can go within reason, yes. She so I didn't ask reason. why. I didn't ask why. I just said I is it right or wrong? That's all. So you, you don't care if they if, if you use different reasoning to get there as long as you get there, right? Your your hunches, your inklings, your subjective opinions. That's reasons. all you have. That's it. I understand you, that. I'm sorry, that Roger, is that is the the fun the foundation existence of morality or what we call moral ontology. You confuse that with moral knowledge. You what, obtain what is, can you moral expertise. As you you obtain moral knowledge from your parents more than likely, but that you have no moral or you have no existing 
foundation for your morality? What grounds your position that that are in babies? I don't, I don't want to say the word because what's, you two what's, might be flagging of doing reason. that, violating children is other than why you your to, why subjective you opinion. Rate? Wait, wait, can I ask Jill a question uh, about Because that is something where you can't you can't obfuscate. It's either right uh, or wrong. Jill, Jill, do we have a, a definitive age where one is a child and then they are not a child? Is what age is that? Two. Okay, they're a child at two. And when are they yeah. not a child? What is this? What does this have anything to do with? I just want you to tell me when, at what age does a child cease to be a child and begin to be an adult? According to the law, it depends on the state. Well, you, you asked an objective question, so when you say child, I have to know what you mean. I just told you two, two year old. So is so that is the only that is the only age that's, a child is a if child. You're two, after you're that's, a child. that's the that is the the hypothetical that I'm giving you. So a three year old is an me, adult, and you tell me what I didn't no, no. say that. I said in this scenario, in this hypothetical, you're just going to tell me whether it's right or wrong. That's all. Don't give me, well, what about a 12 year old? Well, what about a 13 year old? So you're saying in, in no situation can that ever be better than an alternative? I'm I'm asking you for your moral stance. Hold on. Okay. On a child that is two who is violated, is that right or wrong? And that's what I'm what saying. Is, I, and I'm what makes you. your moral views more than mere? Hunches or inklings or feelings. I'd ha I'd have to know more about the situation to determine what you mean by right and wrong. Wow. Anyone else? Jill, is there no other is is there no situation <laughs> sure. where doing that might Anyone might else? be? A, is there no situation where context. that might be a greater good? He needs context. Anyone else? Well, I can give you an example, but you couldn't handle it. Oh gosh. Wait, hold on. I, mean, I, I also I also have an example, but go ahead, space. I, I thought about, you know, because I know you've given that that one example before in the past. Well, and I did I think, think about that when I said that it's always wrong. Um, it would it would still be wrong, even if it had to be done in order to prevent a greater evil from being done. It would still be wrong. It would just be <laughs> well wrong. And I, I was going to extrapolate a, that to yeah. Jesus, God killing his son. Mm -hmm. put it, but I, I get that we had that well, conversation. I went a different way. Well, we don't want to get tied up. I, we don't want to get too well, tied can I bring up. up in, my example? We don't want to talk about God. Well, hold child. on. Before you do that, we don't want to get too much tied up in changing the hypothetical. I'm giving you a scenario. It would definitely you tell cause me, harm. You tell me. Don't tell me, well, what if this happened or what if that happened? Okay, and start adding harm, the and causing harm is I'm wrong. giving you a hypothetical. You tell me whether or not, did. based on what you know about the scenario, whether I it's right did. or wrong. In the, land, in the land of ones and zeros, it's a one. It's wrong. That's right. Yes. There you go. Well, hold on. Wouldn't wrong I be zero? Say that. Or, or right, wrong, be what? Anyways, doesn't matter. But the exact the example I want to give is from a you know it's from a TV show, but it it's an example I really really like love love in the sense that you know love in the sense that it's very powerful. Uh, there's a character on Law and Order SVU <clears throat> called Olivia Benson, right? Now she's a child of rape, right? Her you know her mother was raped, and you know the father fucked off. She had the child. She had stop, Olivia. Stop saying the R word. Just use violate because YouTube will yeah. will flag channels for you. Fine, it. violate you it. Can't, you she can't had, even say they got it. Shut up. To, yeah, I'm just trying to help his channel. Help by shutting up for a second. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. She had Olivia, obviously. Now, you know, now, 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 because this woman was, you know, was violated, was treated horribly, you know, by, you know, by, by, uh, by a man. She treated Olivia like crap, right? Now, now, at you know, at you know, at one point, Olivia, you know, o o Olivia was inspired to become a police officer, right? She became a detective. She became an officer. Then she became a detective. Then eventually, she became a sergeant. She has helped. A lot of people in her life. Obviously, it's a TV show; mm -hmm. it's fiction. But whatever, she helped a lot of people. Now, now, you know, now, now, the action of the, the action that happened to her mother is still wrong, but it led to a lot of good. It's wrong, but it led to good. I know it sounds fucked up to say. Yes, that's mm -hmm. what the Bible actually says about mm -hmm. evil. Yes, thank you. Well, um, 
midnight. That's what the Bible says. Okay, yeah. that's, that's what God okay. does with evil in the Bible. I almost kind of justified Yahweh's actions there, midnight. Thank you, Wahar. You should become an apologist. Hey, hey, I have a question for Sparkle. You should become a Christian apologist, Wahar. I mean, uh, can I ask Sparkle a question? Go ahead. Go ahead. Sparkle, because I haven't killed any of my sons, does that make me better than God? Ooh. <laughs> mm. Yeah. You didn't have to. Either. Can we go to scripture? To I'll, say, I'll, 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 I'll say um, yes. I asked Sparkle. I'll say Why don't you ask the Joe. person who was killed? Why don't you ask him? Ask Jesus. How can you, how can you ask yeah. Jesus? You can't okay. ask uh, Let me do that. Let me do that. Jesus, am I better than your dad because I haven't killed any of my sons and he has? Can I answer? For Jesus? No, you're not Jesus. Do you think I want to answer for Jesus? Jesus no, I want. I want. No, I want. I want can I get some some moderation here? Because I want Jesus Abe to answer. answer. <laughs> no, I want Abe to answer. Well, why Jesus. don't you want <laughs> Jesus to answer? Extra I want Abe. I want Abe to Jesus. answer. He doesn't speak answer. for Jesus. I do. Oh, John chapter oh. That's clip worthy. Oh. So rape oh. is objectively wrong to Hold kill. Hold on, no, 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 Kevin, no, no, don't no, ever no, take no, this no, down. Wait please. a minute. John ten verse eighteen. Let me read it. This is Jesus uh. speaking. The one who died. No one can take my life from me. I sacrifice it voluntarily, for um, I have the authority to lay down my own life. And take it up again. Wow. I know he said that. But isn't Jesus so the God son? So the son. Yes, thank you, Midnight. By his the death. son. The <laughs> son. <laughs> he's going to dig his hole deeper. Himself. All right. Okay, bro, All right, Mr. Christ. So you're not better than the father. <laughs> you're not better you than the father. Hold on, hold on. Because wait, the son wait. sacrificed himself. May I, may I? respond to so that. stop using that argument no 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 jesus hold on for a second i need to respond to jesus here okay, okay sure. jesus if uh you did that all voluntarily and you had the power to bring yourself back you were never actually dead i guess it's a big puppet show which makes me better than you because i'm not deceiving anyone <laughs> the big puppet oh, show well, we don't understand. We don't understand fully, really quickly. Just to answer you, we don't without an answer because we don't have that answer in scripture. We don't understand fully. So then, why are you this, talking? Uh, I'm I'm I, answering. I, I, I you, asked Jesus. You that, no, no, I asked Jesus. Jesus you said didn't you were answer for Jesus. Oh, he didn't answer. He must this. not That's have an answer. I, I guess he does he not have it. No, well, he I did not I attempt to. He did not attempt to answer the question or the or the dynamics between. Well, then the, I refuse to believe he's about to speak through an S. The finite and the eternal, that is a mystery how that right, works. I thought you spoke for Jesus. That means Jesus okay. told you something. Jesus ran out of answers. Jesus, Jesus shrugged. Oh, my God. Hey, uh, sometimes did. as a I parent, you you just don't answer. You, 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 it's you a say, show. you know what? I don't know. You know what? You'll figure that out when it's time for you to figure that out. Jill. Sometimes Jill, you have to do that as a you. parent. Everything is, you need to know is, is in the scriptures. If you don't need, if it's not there, you really don't need to know it. Bro, Joe, does God need better attorneys? <laughs> yeah. So don't worry yes, about does. it. Jesus will handle it. Don't worry. Jesus will take care of that. Jesus, yeah. take the wheel. No, no. I'm I'm worried. I'm I'm a little worried. Why? Joe. I don't Why think. Are you I don't worried? think. What are you worried about? Live, shh, shh, live your life, shh, 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 sweetie. Don't worry. I'm I'm worrying about the eternal up. and the and the finite and how that all works. Hey, That's you know, air works better going you in. Crazy. That's why Jesus says, free. "Don't live your life. Don't I worry know, about tomorrow." Sweet Pete. You're worrying then, about the eternal world? Are you let afraid Jesus, of me saying something? Let Jesus handle that. The Bible well, doesn't answer those questions. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure, Jill? Can I go answer. ahead? Yeah, no, you're not. Faith. You're not. Have faith. Okay. Faith. Have faith. <laughs> Trust in the Lord. Trust yeah. in God. Actually, I'll just God. quickly say that, yeah. that, uh, that new life that you get in Christ is the burden of death lifting off of you so that you don't have to worry about it for the rest of your life? It's a it's an illusion, but it does give you something. Can, can I point out that Jill Jillabustered a non-answer? He started out saying I don't have an answer, and then he Jillabustered straight through. <laughs> Everything after you said, why are you talking? <laughs> 
was that, right? <laughs> it's just <laughs> all, I don't have an answer, but I'm going to run my fucking mouth anyway. <laughs> stop me if you've heard this one. <laughs> Honestly, Kevin, he this, tried stream, too, this stream still is didn't beautiful. Stop. <laughs> this stream is beautiful. I, You know what? Clip! Clip this whole thing, you know, you know, clip this whole thing when Jill comes in and make and make it its own section. All right, fuck everything else. <laughs> yes, uh, Jill, I don't want you to yeah. ever stop doing these things that you do. Okay. <laughs> Jesus is God suck my fit suck account to get false. <laughs> hey everybody, my dad's mad what? at you. And Was he's I gonna ask something? me to die. Come on, well, follow we... me to the cross. We saw that that brought up a greater issue in your worldview overall. That's all I'm pointing out. The oh, same thing oh, with oh, Midnight. Do tell. Do tell. The same yes. thing with Midnight. Right. Tell when me. He said what he said about Tupac being smarter than me. That revealed something else. Oh, about okay. I'm so asking you, did. you didn't it? Like, holy shit. You're still on that. Okay. Forget, <laughs> forget the Tupac thing. Everyone knows that you're smarter than a cadaver. Now. <laughs> So, so, so you no, said, I, Tupac I, I, is still alive. Tell me Tupac what I revealed in my whatever. <laughs> uh, you know what? I forgot already what you were saying. So, everyone, yeah, the thing that you said and... was revealed about me because of my take on whatever. What was it again? Remind me. I, I, you want me to tell you what you were thinking? I've Come already responded that. to that, but I was muted the whole time. But no, you, I've already you responded. Were not. You, you muted yourself. No, I didn't. Once it's so out my head, you uh, it's responded, gone. yet we didn't hear it. <laughs> okay, no. It's gone. It I, I don't remember. I'm, I'm Refresh sorry. my memory. I have I to go back and watch the stream again yes. to find out what exactly you were saying. Promise me you will do that. Promise me you'll go back and watch from the time you come in all the way through. Promise. Oh, yeah. You were saying that Jesus, um, oh, his, you were better than the Father because. <laughs> no, the so we went. We went this, past that to this, the puppets. Remember, we went to the puppet to the show. The puppet oh, show, oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And right, I said yeah, that yes, the Bible. Yes. Okay, all right. And I said that the Bible doesn't answer those questions. And questions. yes, the problem you have is reveals Problems. the problem you have, Flash Freeman. Yes, yes. Is that you expect the Bible Flash. to answer all of the questions that you have, and if it doesn't, the Bible is somehow uh, subpar. Are you sure that's my problem? Or, or inefficient. But are you yeah. sure that's my problem? Are you, I'm part, that my that's belief? part of your problem. Yeah, it's part oh, of it's it. just one of them. Can you give me yeah. one other? Well, you're a beta male. Oh, oh that could I be it. My. Yes, yes. I've, often, <laughs> I've heard that many times. Wow. I got one. How about Thanks, we, can't, we, we can't determine what's like uh hyperbole or metaphoric or poetic language how to how to how to interpret it that way we don't know what's meant that way or how to interpret other things that way and what's meant to be taken at face value so there's no way for us to really interpret the bible correctly and and get it all right there's no way to so i and you know just the timeline alone kind of eliminates it from being true i think but just the other thing of we don't know how to interpret it it means that we'll never actually know you know, uh, what the authors really meant. Um, it makes it almost useless. Well, that's a shame because I took a course in Shakespeare. I've also taught uh, some Shakespearean uh, plays. We've actually put on a play in high school. And we didn't, the, this this 12 year olds, 12th grade, 12th graders, what are that? What's that, 19, 17? They didn't have a problem with understanding hyperbole. So I'm, I'm just curious as to why you do when it comes to reading the Bible. No, I no, 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 Yeah, go for it, Will. Go for it. Okay, so. Yeah, they had no I, problem determining no, no, when I, Shakespeare was being historical, when he was using hyperbole, when he was using metaphors. Literary or devices. So they had no literary problem devices. determining that. Why do you have that issue when it comes okay. to the Bible? So parables, mm. parables. Are those hyperbole? You know, Abraham's parables, bosom. Parables. Are Jesus, not I'm talking specifically, let's talk about Jesus's parable about Abraham's bosom. Uh -huh. Is that hyperbole or is paradise really snuggled up Abraham's tits? Well, I think you're confusing hyperbole with metaphor. Well, tell me, linguistic or, liberal uh kind of ac actions like that where they're stretching the meaning and they're changing things to be poetic or to evoke emotion or uh to turn it into song all right th th is that 
is that really something that you can say you can determine that parts of it are meant to be true and parts of it are not meant to be just literary device? I mean, are you saying well, that you can it, distinguish that yourself? Yes. Yeah. One of the first exercises when you take any course in literature is recognizing when the author is using hyperbole, simile, okay. et cetera, Perfect. metaphors. Now back to the Abraham's bosom thing. You say it's true. Yes. Okay, so this is an event that really happened that Jesus is describing. It's not just a, a fable, a parable, uh, uh, some sort of object lesson. This is God. This is the God recounting to man an actual thing with a guy named Lazarus. Yeah, yeah. But oh, you say, but when wow. you say true, when you say true again, that's very vague. Depends or, on what I, you mean I by said, true. Right. If well, I said Jesus is the, well, hold on, hold on. Tell me the story actually happened. If I say Jesus is the door, is that true? No, yes. No, no it's yes. symbolism. But hold on, it's just symbolism. yes. But hold what on. is the, well? Hold on, hold He's on. Not a door. What is the symbolism? The symbolism. I, is I want true. you to give me the parable okay. that I'm talking hold on, about. Hold on, in your words. What the what the author is saying is that Jesus is the way you should go. I he didn't he's out the door. He's out. Hold on. That's We're not talking true. about that parable, Jill. Don't That's change the parable now. Come on. Come on. I'm just giving an being example. Here now. This, I'm just giving an example. Yes, no, that William, giving you an that, example. Hold on, hold on. William gave it's you an true. example. Trust that example. Don't give but another one. True. Go to another one. It's true that Jesus is the door. It is not true that he has hinges. Are you done with door? Are you done? Because okay. nobody so, said door but you. Let's use the parable of last no, it's, 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 no. it's not a parable actually it's not all right i want you to tell me okay. tell me what happened it is tell true me what it is it is oh, true gosh. that there is a place that you go when you die it is not true that it is actually located in abraham's stomach bosom. got it bosom right got it no so we're the not, abraham we're not, we're not bosom, nearly... so the bosom yeah. part is the metaphor? I want the you to tell part me the story. Is Hold on, relax, dude. You never learned this. Yeah, but Pay you're not attention. answering anything. I'm trying to educate you. you. Pay attention. I don't want you. To, I want you to. Just Rojo the asked question. me about your power or your uh, your okay. example. All right. So I'm Go trying ahead. to give Go you ahead. the breakdown. I know you need the this. bosom. Go for it. The bosom represents metaphorically a safe oh, place. metaphorically yeah. a safe now, place. Now. Yes. It represents a safe place. Yes. When you die, Symbolizes. the believer goes to a safe place. You guys know what's, about safe places, right? The gulf between Some of you the gulf just, just graduated from high school 10 Abraham. years ago. You know about <laughs> safe place? So Make so the, the bosom, the Abraham bosom is going. symbolic for an symbolic, actual real yes. place. Symbolic. Where exactly in the bosom is it? Is it like inside the body? Is that's it against irrelevant. the bosom? I just explained that it's, that's metaphoric. Metaphoric, yes. Place um, to so be absent from metaphoric. the bottom, to be absent from oh, yes, the body, Lord. is to be yes. present with the Lord. So, bosom means a Abraham's safe place. place. Yes, safe. Bo That's all it means. Okay. In with Christ. Abraham and Leah's Lazarus actually speaking, so we, you know, tits over of a security. Cult? Yes, were they were they actually <laughs> yes. talking? Oh, they yes. were. The speaking and the consciousness is what's represented by the actions of one eight hundred Yahweh Lazarus. Yes. He is thirsty. He is in torment. That is signifying that there is consciousness after death. Signifying, symbolizing. So Sing those yes. who die in Christ go to comfort. They go to a safe place. Those who die outside Kids. of Christ go to a place of torment. How do you know? Torment. Torment. That's what Jesus That's is stretch. teaching. That's not stretched. Could you Where's now? Are you ready to answer coming? my question? Jill? That's not stretching. I know that's Jesus what goes. Abraham bosom means. It's a safe place. It's where's the unsafe place? How's that described? And so what actually happened? You don't want to know. Thirst, thirst, torment. He okay, was. So he was you, tormented. Okay, that's what happened to Lazarus. Yes, Lazarus. There was a man. Yeah, I believe Jesus can see in that realm, so he I, would know. I don't think yeah. you know the. Believe. I, I, I do. Lazarus is the good guy. Why would he be tortured? I'm sorry, the rich man. The rich man. Thank and you. Then Lazarus right. was the one that was comforted. 
That's so those right. who That's die right. in Christ I, are comforted. I still wasn't done asking. God dang. All right. Man. All right. So what I'm asking you is exactly since it was true, there was a lot of symbolism, but we're talking about a specific Lazarus and something happened and you were very vague about what happened to the man. So with the symbolism that you listed, tell me the true story of exactly what you can pull out of that that happened to Lazarus. I just did. No, no, you told died, me what the symbols no, mean. I want you to walk me through his story there when he dies. He dies he and then dies, right? And because he is not with God or of God, he goes to a place where he is tormented. No. 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 Lazarus, right? Lazarus, when he dies, he goes to a place where he is comforted. Does it it's say that, that in the story? Yes, Abraham's bosom is a place of comfort and bliss. The other it's side, just, and what does Jesus like say? Fiddler's green, you know. What I feel, is? I feel like you're what stretching is, what Abraham's bosom means. Oh, really? Then, then what does it mean? Is someone's actual stomach? <laughs> no, 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 actual no, no. stomach. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh, you what, don't what care happened? What I was gonna say. So what does Jesus say? Uh, can about... I can I finish what I was going to say? Oh no, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. What, what do you gonna... think? It was literally out. <laughs> no, he's got he's got last night's dinner in there too. <laughs> he was swimming around with where his where is where does it with say his tilapia, that... his fried tilapia in there? <laughs> where does it say that Jacob is? Where does it say? Oh well, no, no, is? don't try to change no, no, the I'm, subject. Can I don't finish? It's rhetorical. Subject. I don't want you to answer. Okay. I want you to shut up for a second. Okay. okay all ahead. these all these people that I'm trying to name, if you'll let me speak. It says that they sleep with their fathers. Now, I don't think they literally are sleeping with their dads and that, but I, a place of comfort. How's that different than the, than the way it's described as sleep? Death is described as sleep. It doesn't, it's okay. not torture. You're, you're asking, a, you're moving to another issue, I, I, but okay. I wasn't done. Sleep. Uh, I don't know what you're referring to. Are you autistic? To. Just okay. say yes. Go, 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 ahead. Go, go ahead. It's not an insult. I really want to know. I, I, is that I, I'm not, are you I, having I, I a problem can't. letting me speak? Okay, go go ahead. I thought she were done. Go ahead. I no, thought no, she I, paused. I'll, 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 I'll say go ahead. So the way you and I read it to you. Okay. It, <laughs> okay, and that I understand that, but I I'm really trying to diagnose what his problem is. But all right, so Lazarus dies and goes to a place of comfort, and this is before the resurrection because Jesus is telling it, and you're saying it already happened. So at this point, Lazarus was a good man, and so were the anointed men before. It says of them that they slept with their fathers, meaning the, the thought at that time was that they were in the grave, all right? And that's what death is, sleep. 52 times in the Bible, death is referenced to sleep. Okay, so what I'm saying is no one hearing this at, at that time, if Jesus was recounting it, would have seen it as anything other than what they already saw death to be, which is sleep. And... Sleep is not necessarily a bad thing to, to, to people. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know what that what, what the point of that was, but um, but anyway. Right, but the well, smart if people you noticed, if you noticed also in the text in the description of the afterlife, this is what Jesus is giving you. He says Abraham's that there is bosom. a sleep with their yeah. fathers, Abraham's right, right. bosom. Sleeping that, in the bosom that, of that your was father. the relevant point that you made. That sleep no, does it, mean death. Who cares? Listen, you know that already. Listen, okay, but okay, listen, so, sleep, it's it's in the language. Sleep, sleep means their death. Fathers. Who cares? Who cares? Sleep with their fathers. Sleeping with their father. Who, cares? who is the Jewish father? Who cares? I, the the patriarch. Oh, sorry, hold on. The ones hold on. who have May, died in the past. Let me just let just you've you've done enough. What's your point? You brought up an irrelevant factor and you want to expand on it. Brojo, who would you say that the father of the Jews are? Historically and or religiously, Abraham. Abraham, thank you. So in Abraham, Abraham's what? bosom, no, no, John, I'm talking to Brojo. So Brojo, could you shut up? So no, Brojo, could you see kind of what I was saying? Because I know it didn't make sense to Jill with the idea of sleeping with your fathers or being in the bosom of Abraham, the father. How that could potentially be talking about the same thing? Are you saying that? Wait. Are you saying Abraham's bosom is where I don't know David sleeps? Saying, when, 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 <laughs> metaphorically, okay. metaphorically sleeping is that what you're saying? In in the Jewish mind, if all the okay. David 
David died and he slept with his fathers and Jacob died and he slept with, with his fathers, meaning that death oh. is where you sleep. Yeah, the death. father of the Jews would be Abraham and to sleep in the bosom of Abraham would have been an idea that would have been fairly common for them because they looked at death as sleep with the fathers. He slept with his fathers. It doesn't mean is he this, gave up with his fathers. Or anything. Is that what it says yes. in the parable? He, yes, he's correct. It, it, William, we already know this. Abraham's side or next to Abraham or with Abraham, that meaning, that, that, in, uh, meaning that uh, he's with he's with the patriarchs, those who have passed or died in Christ or in God or in Yahweh before he did. So those this came who out died, of Jesus's mouth. Those who die, if I die today, I will be with Abraham. I will be with you will Abraham's sleep with your bosom. fathers. You'll sleep with I your will, fathers. I will be with the reality is I will be with them. But what Jesus is bringing out here is that Jesus. there is consciousness. So it's no. not a soul sleep, which is which many of the Where are you uh, getting of, some religions. The fact that the, the man had awareness. It was That's a parable. Clearly, it was symbolic. It's not you a parable. It is you not said a metaphorical. You <laughs> said symbolism. Mar just yeah. because you use metaphors does not mean you are a parable. My God. No, it's Have called you guys a parable. Asked high school English. No, it is. Listen, it just is. Just because parable. I use a metaphor <laughs> does not mean that I'm telling you a parable. Do you know All the right. difference? Do you know that you're ganged up on, don't you? Metaphor God. isn't like face value language. It's poetic language. It's it's or it's exaggerated. But it doesn't language. transform your statement into a parable just because you use metaphors. Keep, keep. You guys should have learned this already. No, not a I should not be teaching this to adults. I'm not sorry. Not a parable specifically. <laughs> yeah. But but something that's said in such a way that we don't know what the reality of the of this of the meaning mm -hmm. is. We would be guessing. Well, I'm sorry that you. And have then you're, to and then you're, 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 you're saying that it's. And sorry. then you're saying that yeah, it's this is not my fault. I didn't teach you sixth grade to yell at. That's sixth not grade, my fault. Yes. You should not be guessing when Jesus says that I am the door. You should not be guessing Wait, whether or not Jesus he has. Did Jesus just say that through you? Wait, I got to make sure because you said you spoke for him earlier. Did he just tell you to say that? Or are you speaking at your own liberty? No, I was. <clears throat> Abraham's side with Abraham, the arms of Abraham is another yes, translation. Jesus, yes. So this is the Greek word kalopos, I think is pronounced kalopos. So they're they're attempting to convey that the idea that Lazarus like went to high. a place of rest, contentment, peace, and the exact opposite was the case with the rich man. He went to a place where there was torment. Their place where he was not comforted. That is teaching that sleeping or death after this life is separation. Mm -hmm. Death is separation from this life. And now you go to the next life. And in that oh. next life, you have consciousness. Yes. Consciousness. That's what Jesus yes. is teaching. Yes. He's teaching. That's the truth. You just have to read between to the lines. Uh, this is what Luke is saying. Jesus is teaching. Oh, oh Luke. You yes. got us now. You got yes. us Christians now. Luke is saying this. Now. Was Luke there? Was Luke there? <laughs> Brojo, is speaking, Brojo is speaking for Luke right now. Uh, so shut now up. Now that we understand the parable. Now we want to go to authorship. No, okay. I still don't understand the parable. I don't think the parable. You don't understand the parable? It's a parable. It didn't literally happen. But just, you're well, speaking on both sides It's your not mouth. really a parable, but some people call you're it a parable. You're saying it's a parable, whoa, but then you're whoa, saying whoa. it literally happened. I don't. Which it's one is not that? really a parable. Did it's you say that? It's not a parable. It's not a parable. I would say oh, it's not God. a parable. So what is it then? Oh, yeah. It's a story about the it's literal afterlife. truth. It's literal it's truth. Parables can be literally true as well, just to no. people in the places and that the concepts no. are true. If, the if have you read Aesop's true, fables, literal. do you know what literal means? Let's talk, let's talk okay. about that word. Literal means that he took fake people and places and particulars. It doesn't mean that literal the, doesn't, the concept literal on, doesn't seem like fake. It doesn't mean that it. the concept that he's teaching isn't true. I could tell you a story and make up the people and the places but still be telling you a story about something that's actually true, a, a spiritual reality. 
Parable comes from Greek parabol, throwing alongside, meaning by extension, comparison, illustration, analogy. Okay. There you go. Thank, thank you, Brojo. So I can then give you yeah, an but analogy. but it doesn't mean it's literally using, true. Okay. You're, you're, bro, uh, Brojo, listen. Listen to me. I can give you a parable or a story or what was the other synonym? Give me some more synonyms. I analogy. I can give that. you an analogy about 9-11. That doesn't mean... I can make up a story about 9-11, make up the characters. I can, I can, I don't have to use the real people that were actually there just to convey the story and teach a moral lesson. That doesn't prove that 9-11 is not true. It just proves that I used fake characters oh, to tell you. Can I tell a true <laughs> can I not tell a story that is not literally true and still give a moral lesson? Okay, you're that's yes not what not. I said. Yes, you can do that I know that's well. what you said. I'm asking you. That's yes called or no. a fable. That's called a fable. Fable and a parable. Mm. Yes. They're almost the same thing. Have you thing, heard of they? Aesop's fable? Aesop's Fables parables are a little Aesop's... different. Uh, well, okay. What you what we're doing No, no, please saying... let us compare those two okay. accurately what... so we can call Jesus's fables. Can what we, we're oh, doing, on, we were what so we're close. doing is we're taking. I can tell you a story about 9/11, and I can make up all the characters, and I and you can say, well, this is fiction. <sighs> sure, it's fiction, but it's it's based on a true story. You ever heard that before? Yes. yes so they're sure. taking but, but, they're taking the they're making they're casting the people who were at 9/11. We someone is playing. Someone is playing. Do you know, we have a basis for 9-11 being He's, true. Yeah, we do not okay. have a basis of Abraham okay. speaking a lot. We, all you have is a story of Abraham Lazarus. You have no basis that it actually happened like we do in 9-11. Okay, we're, we're still trying to learn what, the diff what a parable is. Okay, before you get to the historicity of the text and whether or not you believe it's true or not, I'm trying to bring out the fact that you can write a story and it be fiction, but based on a true story. The fiction part is only the characters. The characters so which is aren't the, what's real. The, part in this the, story? Oh, yeah. the characters aren't real. They weren't there. They weren't. It wasn't really Giuliani. It was someone playing Giuliani. That's but, the fictitious but, part of the story. Hold on, though. The story if you itself say, actually <laughs> happened. One second, though. With swapping out characters in a real story and then telling the story is different from using language like sleeping in the arms of Abraham or in the bosom of Abraham, are you saying that it's, there's a soul sleep and not a, not a, um, what was it you said before? It was a, it was a soul sleep and not a actual death or something like that. The death soul sleep is death. According to scripture, right. it's, a, it's so, a separation, like, it's a separation like, from this world to the next world. That's right. what it like, is. like Brojo was saying, we have a basis for something like 9-11, right? That, that's a true story. And we could just swap out the characters for different names, and the story would still be true, just with different characters. We don't have any evidence of a soul sleep or of, of any of, you know, a lot of things that are just, you know, uh, hyperbolic or, or figurative or, um, you know, exaggerated language or poetic language in the Bible. Like, it's open for interpretation. That's part of the problem. Okay, so it, that made no sense, and I don't mean any offense. Did that make no sense to everyone else? That was made I just talking nonsense. You, yeah, yes. Let me anyone tell you. Anyone else want to chime in on that? Because it's what we're trying to determine is whether or not the authors can convey something of spiritual truth, which I admit cannot be backed spiritual up. Spiritual truth now. Or your history, your history, the history is simply that it happened. Someone said that it happened. You cannot prove that. Science can only do but so much. Okay, so historically, we have people who say that these things happen, and that's all we have. Okay, so no one is trying to validate these things in your mind scientifically to prove that they actually happened. And now we can say, hey, well, let's you figure out what the metaphor is. We can figure out what the metaphors mean without you believing that the story actually happened. It's what is the author trying to convey? What is he trying to say? Is he trying to say that people are literally The problem we have is that you say literally happened. Is he trying to say that people are literally in someone's stomach? 
No, Come Taylor, on. Don't have a problem with that. Don't have Come a problem on, with that. Guys. But the problem is you you're literally, you think it literally happened. Come on. You've read Shakespeare. Oh when Shakespeare God. says that Abraham that uh, that I can't Desdemona and the king are the beast of two backs. You didn't suppose that they were actually a beast with two backs. You didn't suppose that. But when it comes to Abraham's bosom, was someone actually in Abraham's stomach? I'm gonna and do Will was correct. Will coffee. was correct. It means oh, to be yeah. with I Abraham. Think, yeah. with it means to the... be with the patriarchs. <clears throat> Just that's hey, Wilder. How you doing, buddy? Oh yeah, and, and trust me, uh, you know that I love you. Uh, I'm I'm doing very very badly at the moment. Yeah, love you too, but, man. But it, it, yeah, but it's, it's it's not all about me, so no, it's fine. Uh, carry on talking. Literally just made it. A... <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah, we, I want I want to uh, check in on you. But you doing all right? No, and I I appreciate, but but let Jill carry on with his bullshit. <laughs> well, yeah, I think Jill's been carrying on quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> Good to see you, Wahar. Good to see you're still alive. <laughs> yeah. You, you give a whole sermon over here. <clears throat> but uh, all right, all right. I think uh, it'll probably be a good time to uh, wrap this here thing up anyway. But yeah, good to good to see you doing all right, brother. Um, all right. Oh, yeah. So uh, yeah, any any last words? Oh no, I'm I'm gonna say uh, basically I, 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 there was an ambulance coming to so, okay. okay. Oh wait, I, he's trying. Yeah. <sighs> um, hold on. We'll we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Any, yeah. All right. Which one of these monkeys are you, Eight Man? Well, is that you, is that is, is that is that really the last thing you want to say, Jill? <laughs> I, I just I'm just curious. He put this up here. I just turned Jeez. on uh, my stream yards, <laughs> and I uh, see a bunch of eight. So which one are you? We're we're all the way on the end. <laughs> 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 We're all the way 